Okay, so today we are going to discuss about digital circuit components. It's another important uh, topic in your computer system subject. Actually, one of the most difficult topic. Uh, but if you find this little bit difficult, don't worry too much also, because uh, they have they ask very rarely they ask questions from this topic. Okay, uh, maybe just one question for the paper, right? So therefore, don't worry too much. Of course, if you can understand, it's really good. Okay. Right, so I will just do a quick recap of what is this digital circuits are all about. Uh, but I am only concentrating on this particular topic today, right? Not any other thing. Uh, so we know that. So I'll just take the whiteboard. Right, <coughs> when it comes to a computer or the ALU, we know that uh, ALU or the processor is capable of processing only two things that is arithmetic. Right, arithmetic arithmetic and of course logic right, and of course logic and we know that arithmetic is also a logic right arithmetic is also a logic uh, so we are basically implementing a logic when we are doing some arithmetic operations and also we know that in computer if everything is binary numbers like everything is binary numbers even audio video right so all those things are binary and also uh, logic what we are interested in is boolean logic therefore it is two state logic right so therefore we can use 0 and 1 to represent this logic the result of the logic uh, arithmetic operations we can perform uh, on binary numbers right again binary numbers and using these logic gates we can implement uh, different different arithmetic operations mm -hmm. as well of obviously using logic gates we can implement uh, logic that is what, what is all about logic gates right and gate to gate and no gate etc and of course using the combining combining these logic gates we can perform arithmetic operations also that is why you have something like adders etc right on in your syllabus you have only adders but there are things like subtractors as well and of course multiplication multi multi there can be some you need to do multiplication as well okay so but arithmetic is implemented using lo binary logic gates right? so that is something you have to understand therefore in the ALU everything is created using logic gates right other than the registries of course the registries are also created using logic gates so we, if, I, if we have time we will discuss a little bit of latches also uh, even the memory is created using logic gates now you can see for computer the processing as well as storing right those things are implemented using logic gates okay implemented using logic gates right so that is the starting point that is why uh, we are interested about uh, logic gates right logic gates boolean algebra uh, digital circuit components etc right so first thing is you have to understand why right then uh, if you look if you if you look at our syllabus of course not only your syllabus in in any computer science or it degree uh, so these are things you have to learn right? what are things you have to learn of course you have to understand what is mean by boolean logic is mean by boolean logic it's a two state logic right uh, where you can start with what is mean by proposition what is mean by simple proposition com com compound propositions then compound propositions are created using logic operators right so under that you have to know what is mean by proposition proposition then the logic operators so logic operators now you have to think about yourself am i aware of this right i am am i okay with this am i okay with all the logic operators so what are the logic operators not right not and o x o right of course then you have that NAND, NO and X NO, how the truth tables work, right? how the truth tables work, so, so those are the things that you have to know next, right? 
then uh, of course the symbols of also then you have to know right how to draw a logic circuit right so given the input output combination or not given the input output combination uh, given the expression right expression boolean algebraic expression can i draw the circuit using these diagrams uh, these symbols right circuit that is not a big thing right that is not a big thing what is the next competency you must have uh, given the circuit right given the circuit can i come up with the expression can i come up with the expression right so that is the next competency then there are some boolean algebraic rules right boolean algebraic rules so we discussed those things about 23 right so there are about 23 uh, boolean algebraic expressions rules right boolean algebraic rules so you must know all these 20 odd rules right a plus b is b plus a a plus b plus c is a plus a plus b plus c right like the morgan root rule right etc so you have to you must aware of those things otherwise uh, you are not going to do this subject okay you are not going to understand this subject right so check whether now can can i take a piece of paper and write this because without those things you can't do any simplifications right you can't do any simplifications so what is the next competency you are expected to have that is given the input output combination right given the input output combination so the requirement can i find a expression that fulfill this requirement right so given the input output combination can i uh, write a boolean algebraic expression so that is another competency right if you are interested about digital logic right so that is where you use two approaches right sum of product and product of sum right so it's very easy thing right so you if it is sum of product you just mark the output having ones right you take uh, those ones as it is zeros complemented write the products then each product you sum so i'm not going to do those things right uh, if you want to build your expression using product of sum you write uh, the mark on the out uh, places where the output is zero you then write the sum right taking zeros as it is once complemented then you product it right so ultimately you get the expression fulfilling the requirement so fulfilling the requirements will mean something like this you will say these are my inputs right this is my output maybe three inputs are there right a b c 0 0 0 i i need 1 0 0 1 i need 2 likewise so you mark this sorry this one or zero you mark these things and come up with the expression so that is the next competency now you have double check right you have double check and see okay can i do that can i do that right so then you are done right? okay what is the next competency of course this will give you the circuit of course once you have the expression now you can see i can combine with this once you have the expression in the previous one you know that given the expression you know how to build the circuit right? now the requirements are given you build the expression uh, now you draw the circuit uh, so you can start building the uh, circuit okay right so what is the next competency you are expected to have okay this circuit is or expression is good but this expression may not be the simplest possible expression right so this expression will be okay this expression is going to work for this input output combination now this expression or this circuit is going to work but that circuit may not be the simplest possible circuit why we are interested about simplest possible circuit when the simplest possible circuit is used the cost is less why less gates are needed that again the size of the device is going to be less right and of course the performance is also going to be less and some other advantages like it will be uh, 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 having less 
heating and stuff like that right less heating less power consumption and so many advantages are there always when you are designing something simple that is the real real beauty right that is where the things are compact cost effective right uh, durable and all those things are there right so therefore we we okay it is fine to have the uh, solution but it's really better if the solution is really simple so therefore we had for that we have two approaches that is once you get the expression right once you get the expression uh, one possibility is uh, simplify uh, this using right uh, rules right simplify this using rules and get the simplest possible expression second approach is right so use the carno map a map right and simplify this so then you get the simplest one again so that both we discuss right so i just briefly mention a third one also using min terms right min terms that is another thing when things are getting complicated and complicated so whatever the way you know now you are you first you got get the expression to fulfill this input output combination now i using one of these approaches you come up with the simplest possible expression that means simplest possible uh, circuit right so so that is what you have done right so i am not going to cover up to this point because i did that in the class and also i did a very quick revision sometimes back also in online session also so what we are going to do is from this point onward so i assume that you have that knowledge competency right confidence right so i am talking three things you you have that knowledge you have that competency right so ability to do that you have that confidence right so confidence means you know in that i know it that is called confidence right so the confidence people are the people who are going to face challenges they don't fear of exams they don't fear of doing something right so have the competency have the knowledge so a lot of people only interested about knowledge right of course knowledge is important without these two your knowledge is not going to help right uh, you can't do anything right so like so now we are moving from that point so what we are going to do is uh, the digital circuit components right so digital circuit components so digital circuit components mean there are some useful components right which has some high level usages right which has some high level usages so those are called digital circuit components okay right so i hope you got the big picture right uh, so now let's move on to the uh, our topic okay our topic means actually we are continuing from this that point okay right so digital circuit components are little bit complex digital circuits or combination of gates etc and it will do a specific task it will do a specific task so that is called a digital circuit component right so we can subdivide these digital circuit components into two categories right so actually these components will be there in different different uh, electronic devices and of course in the arithmetic and logic unit of the uh, computer processor okay so these dig digital circuit components are going to be used okay so that is why we are interested about these things right okay so we can subdivide these these digital circuit components into two type of components right so those two types are called combinational circuits so i'm doing it slowly now right combinational if you have any questions please raise by now right so then and there don't wait right this is a little bit complex topic right so that is why this is not much tested in your exam also because your examiner is very uh, sort of a uh, right uh, looking at you in as a small child right small kids so therefore they the examiner thinks that you may not be able to 100% understand this therefore uh, he is not go he is not checking these things much okay i don't know because of the new syllabus uh, he might change the uh, pattern okay right so combinational circuits and sequential circuits 
code component right sequential so that is the starting point right combinational and sequential right so the difference between combinational and sequential is these combinational circuits do not depends on the memory or the previous state right so pre the previous state or the memory right so right so see combinational circuit components uh, they are not depending on the uh, previous state or the memory right memory right so but when it comes to sequential circuit components it's something related to circuits uh, sorry memory or the output of the next clock cycle is going to depends on the uh, the value you have that component has in the previous clock cycle so that is what is the difference between combinational and sequential right combinational and sequential so that is something we have to understand so we remember we discussed something called the processor is having a clock which is generating a continuous regular discrete signal like this so that is called the clock signal or the timing so if the result is depending on the timing it's a sequential so timing means basically the pre memory uh, if it is not going to depends on that it's a combinational circuit okay right so that is the first thing you have to understand right so now let's see what are the components that you are interested under these two categories okay So if you lose the screen at any time or the voice, just make sure you uh, just place a text to a WhatsApp group, okay? Because otherwise I will not get it, okay? Right. So the two types are combinational and sequential. Sequential circuits depends on the memory, but the combinational circuits does not or do not depends on the uh, timing or the memory, right? So what are the circuits units that we are interested? Under combinational logic, logic circuit components, we are interested about four types of components, right? Four types of components. Those are adders, decoders, encoders, multiplexers, right? So unless you understand all these four components, you can't understand the basic of uh, ALU, right? Basic of ALU. Of course, as I told you in the previous topic also, the computer processor is the, the most complex device the man has made ever, right? So that is the most complex device the human or the man has made in the history of uh, human evolution. So therefore, of course, we may not be able to understand the uh, complexity of the processor. Each and everyone will not be understand to will not be able to understand the full complexity of this so that is why only few companies uh, are building processors like intel amd right so only few uh, companies and only few countries are capable of doing that like usa and few european countries right uh, even china is not that uh, they are just assembling others processors right and creating uh, other devices like smartphones still they are not creating or making serious processors competing with other uh, processors okay but of course we can build a small processor by ourselves if you have a breadboard and set of uh, logic circuits right set of logic uh, gates even we can create a simple processor right simple processor means doing simple simple arithmetic operations and simple simple uh, logic operators right so that is that is possible but only thing is uh, we know that when you take a real computer or like, like uh, laptop or whatever it is doing processing millions of instructions per second right millions of instructions per second still we feel like sometimes it's slower right so the real thing is uh, getting that uh, real complex processor but otherwise even we can design a simple processor right using those logic gates okay so therefore don't think that this is impossible thing to understand why we can't make processor is because we are lacking the technology not we are lacking the knowledge or the thinking power of course our thinking power is little bit less than the thinking power of uh, those people who are building those things right that's a different story but of course we can understand these things at basic level 
okay so what are the components adder decoder encoder multiplex actually there are a few things but those are the four important or the most widely used components okay all those are combinational that means do not depends on the timing or the memory oh, actually there is there is uh, memory is not needed for these components okay right then we have the sequential components right sequential components logic components uh, those are the uh, the what is known as flip flop or latch right flip, sometimes we call them flip flop sometimes we call them latch actually latch is the simpler simpler device flip flop is the more sophisticated device right so if you want you can just make small notes also right uh, latch is the simple device uh, that we can use to understand the concept the flip flop is the, the the sophisticated more complicated the real world applications are for the flip flop not for the latch so latch we can use to understand the concept okay but sometimes we use those two words interchangeably uh, either latch or flip flop right but actually if you want to be very precise the flip flop is the next level of latch okay so we will discuss that anyway if you have any time because this is a very complicated topic this is very very complicated topic right uh, and it's more interested for the electronic engineers than the uh, ICT people right so therefore we are not going to begin to this much right right so now let's move on right so we are going to start with the first one the adder right adder so what is the purpose of adder adder is used to add digits add binary digits so that's very simple thing right so adder is used to use for what adding binary digits now you know how to add binary digits right so we did that under representing data in computer right for example if i have binary number 1011 i have another number 0101 see i want to add these two numbers right so how do we do 1 plus 1 is 2 2 means 0 remainder 1 uh, 1 plus 0 is 1 but we have to add that remainder also then 1 plus 0 is 1 that 1 plus 1 is 2 2 means 0 you have to carry 1 carry to the next level then again 0 plus 1 is 1 but we have to add that carry in also that is 1 plus 1 is 2 2 means 0 and carry 1 again 1 plus 0 is 1 uh, but that one we have to add with that carry in uh, that is 2 2 means 0 carry 1 and that carry will be there because this is now 0 0 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 okay so that is how you do addition right so those things we did in the very second i think about second day of the class right right so now what we need is some sort of a digital logics device that is capable of doing this capable of doing this when we send this number right uh, when we send the first number when we send the second number what we need is this output what we need is this output so let's see how to build something like that right so we are going to discuss three type of adders right what is known as half adder right half adder right? half adder then we will be discussing full ladder right full ladder uh, finally we will be discussing triple carry adder right so those, there are three variations of adders that we are going to discuss half adder full ladder and triple carry adder right okay so let's first look at the half adder right so let's look at the half adder first right so half adder what it does is it take two inputs right it take two inputs and it will give you the sum and carry right some it's very simple adder right for example if i just have something like this say two inputs uh, what i want is i want so this this is a one and zero two inputs what i need is the sum so for in this example one plus zero is one that one will go like this uh, again if there is a carry it has to come like this now in this case there is no carry because 1 plus 0 is 1 in that case carry is going to be 0 right if i take another example right say 1 plus 1 say same thing i am now using add, adding these two 1 plus 1 is we know 2 2 means 0 
carry out this one so in that case if i send one and one my sum is going to be zero right my carry is going to be one so likewise now you, you must you must be able to think about half adder so half adder is capable of adding only two bits right two bits right uh, so only two inputs are there right only two inputs are there and it will give you two outputs again two inputs two outputs the output will have uh, the the sum value and the carry value sum value and the carry value in the previous case of course the carry value was zero right anyway there are two inputs two outputs okay right uh, so let's see how to do this kind of a thing so if so what the mathematicians and the computer engineers what they did is they analyzed this actual pro problem and check whether is there any uh, logic circuit combination that will result in this uh, outputs right so they found one right? they found one right so even we can do that because anyway the knowledge is now already there so we we, we even we can think about it uh, right without any issues now let's see how to do, look at it uh, so so let's look at the input and output combination so my inputs are possible inputs are because i have two inputs say x and y so i will draw it uh, it is small and so this is my input this is my output so i have two inputs let's call it x and y so when i have two inputs there are four possibilities so that you have to think right so when there are one input two possibilities when there are two inputs four possibilities when there are three inputs eight possibilities when there are n inputs 2 to the power n possibilities so what are the possibilities 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 we just write it in a systematic way because 0 0 represents 0 0 1 represent 1 2 3 then we don't uh, look uh, skip we are not going to skip anything or make mistakes so that is conventional way right now uh, in our output also we need to have two the one out remember the sum and the carry sum and the carry or sometimes we call it carry out c out right so if zero is zero and zero is added what must be the sum sum must be zero and there must not be any carry so this is uh, you don't have to memorize if 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 zero and one comes uh, the sum is going to be one and the carry is going to be uh, zero again because there is no carry here one carry is zero here one plus one sum is zero because uh, the, the, 1 plus 1 is 2 because we have to take 0 and we have to give that to the next level. Therefore, sum is 0, but definitely there is a carry. Definitely there is a carry. So now, if you just look at it very carefully, right? look at it very carefully, uh, this input combination and output combination, of course, you have to look at it separately. First, look at these, these two inputs and the output, right? these two inputs and the outputs. Don't look at anything else. Right, so these two inputs and corresponding output. Right, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Uh, if you closely look at it, you can see that this is something to do with the XO gate because this is exactly the truth table of XO where when they are ex exclusively different, the output is 1, when they are the same, output is 0. Now you can see that okay, some can be done using the uh, using XO gate, right? So XO gate, right? So let's draw that. Let's draw that. So some can be done using a XO gate. Right. So these are my two inputs sum is going to come out like this come out like this right now forget about this right so now you have what you have to do is you have to think about you have to look at only these inputs and this output 
right now if you close look at this you can 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 when both are 1 only 1 otherwise 0 that is definitely x mark x and y that is definitely a and gate right so and gate so and gate is going to be view the uh, the carry out right carry out so what we can do is And you can just draw a and gate here and gate here and you can say that is your carry out so that's it so that is called half adder right so the sum can be taken from XO uh, carry can be taken from and gate so we can call this half adder right we can call this half adder so I hope you got it right. So this is nothing complicated, right? Nothing complicated. It's very simple thing. Okay, very simple thing. Right. So, so that is how it works. Right. So sum can be taken by XO gate uh, because that is where uh, this combination is there. Right? So that is where you have this combination. And of course, the carry can be taken by carry can can take the carry by uh, looking at this combination and output as this combination so that is and gate so this is your carry this is your sum and that is called the half header so why we call it half header is uh, it has only two inputs it has only two inputs right so that those are things you have to understand it has only two inputs uh, that is why we call it half header right because in reality when we are adding two binary numbers when you add in two binary numbers in reality what happens is something like this right 0 1 1 right so yes 0 plus 1 1 so that kind of a thing now we can do but now remember when you add in this right uh, 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 now this one also we can do in this case because the only two inputs are there but now what happens here when we add in this, first we have to add these two, then to that we have to add this one, right? First we have to add these two because now there is a carry, then we have to add that carry might occur at any time, right? For example, if we had uh, one here, right? If we had one here, one plus one is zero, carry is one. Now you can see all of a sudden carry is needed here also, right? Now if, what you can see is for the leftmost bit, sorry, for the rightmost bit, half adder is going to work. Because for the rightmost bit, there is no carry from the previous because that is the first first thing, right? For the rightmost addition, half adder may work or not may work. Half adder is going to work because there is no carry. But for the subsequent bits, when you are adding the subsequent bits, there is always the possibility of carry from the previous addition. Therefore, uh, we need something like a three inputs or else or else first we have to use our half adder to add these two get the results then that result and the carry you have to add separately uh, that, so that is why we call this half header right so one way you can look at it is this is doing the half of the job because it does not support three input uh, addition right on the other hand of course if you want you can use this half header twice uh, to first add these two numbers and that with the results and the carry again do the addition that means you do two additions to get this addition done so therefore we can again call it half header why uh, it's doing it half uh, half of the stuff therefore we have to use it twice right use it twice but it is little bit uh, too much of work for the processor it will it will it will be more delayed thing right it, there will be some delays and stuff like that because you have to apply this twice Right, apply this twice. So you have to use two half headers, right? Two half headers. Therefore, uh, what the logicians or the mathematicians or the computer science scientists came up with is a concept called full ladder. Right? Concept called full ladder. So let's move on to the full ladder now. So what we need is not two inputs. What we need is three inputs, right? X, Y, and carry in. Of course, we need the two outputs, right? Two outputs. Then we can do additions like this with single pass single passing right one 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 so of course for that half header is going to work zero 
now you can see uh, previously one and one came here carrying came here next time zero and one comes from there the, now the previous uh, sorry i will explain the output also right so at first what happens uh, one comes here one comes here right so carrying is anyway not required nothing no, no carrying is there if you want you can consider it as zero uh, now the output will be in this case zero sound uh, and of course there is a carry so that carry will go there the carry will go there right so now we are going to add these three now this is going to be zero right next one is going to be one that carry out is going to be the carry in this time so now earlier there was no carry or zero carry now this carry out is going to be the carry in for the next one then these three combine we get the sum of course in this case zero and one again so sum will be zero carry will be again one right likewise now we are gradually getting the output right gradually getting the output now again uh, this will be zero this will be one right because this will be oh now this will be one and this will be zero sorry now this is one because right this is zero uh, the carry is again one right now the output is going to be again zero one so output is again going to be zero and carry is one now you can get the i got the result as zero 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 and of course there's another uh, passing that i have to send this carry again and i can consider these two as zero zeros right then i will get again one and carry as zero right so now i can stop the result is one zero 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 right one zero 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 so that is how the pull ladder is going to work for the pull ladder i need three inputs and of course two outputs okay three inputs and two outputs uh, now let's look at the truth table for that right again to table you can write it by yourself right you don't have to memorize right so now we have three inputs so three inputs means there are eight possible combinations uh, there are two outputs the sum and the carry out right sum and the carry out right so if you can't log in again connect so you just have to uh, text to the whatsapp group okay right so now you can see when both these are all th three are zeros obviously sum is zero carry is zero when when one of them are one sum is one carry is zero now th those are that kind of situation when two of them are one sum is zero carry is one so that is very simple logic right when all are zero both are zero when one of those are one sum is one carry is zero when two of those are one uh, then sum is zero carry is one when all three are one sum was sum is also one carry is also one so that is very simple logic right so that is how we add by numbers right again i will say when all three are zero i mean the inputs uh, both the sum and carry is zero when one of the inputs one of the inputs is one sum is one carry is zero when two of the inputs two of the any inputs are one uh, sum is zero carry is one when all three are ones both sum and carry is one so use using that logic uh, logic that common sense of mathematics arithmetic we can feel this we can feel this now if you closely look at it of course there are two ways you can do it uh, now what you can do is draw a right draw if that that if you want you can do it by yourself uh, consider these three inputs and the sum and draw a uh, now you can go for sum of product or product of sum and then if you want you can sub simplify or do a Kano map and come up with circuit for uh, getting sum getting sum right then again uh, draw another Kano map for simplify it using the uh, SOP uh, or POS uh, for uh, these input three inputs and the carry out output so first you take this as the output one Kano map uh, the, for these three inputs then for these three inputs this one has the output another Kano map or just write the expression and simplify you will come up with a 
simple SOP circuit or simple POS circuit. So that is fine, right? But remember, when we are talking about the SOP and POS process, we are only to, uh, considering uh, three type of gates. What are those three type of gates? AND gate, O gate, and NOT gate. We never touch XO gates when it comes to XOP and POS approach. Of course, for the SOP and POS, we have that Carnot map concept also, right? Carnot map concept also. Therefore, uh, of course, you will get uh, simple, uh, fairly simple circuits. But uh, if we use exclusive O XO gates, it's going to be even simpler, right? So remember, in the half pad also, uh, we found that uh, naturally, naturally, right? Right. In the half pad also, we found that naturally some is XO gate, some is XO gate. Therefore, what the mathematicians or the computer engineers did is, rather than going for that SOP or POS approach and come up with the circuit using only AND or and NOT, because XO gate is going to make our life much more easier. Uh, what they did is, they come up, came up with a circuit using XO. Right. So actually, you can simplify a uh, Boolean expression then. Uh, find what is this uh, expression is all about, but I am not going to do that because it, it will take a little bit more time. Right? If, if you if you need, I will put it into the WhatsApp group, right? WhatsApp group, right? Uh, because you have to carefully do that uh, combination of something like factorizing. You have to do it in a proper way, right? A systematic way. Then you will get the XO gap. XO gap. So what will happen is when you simplify this, that there will be a situation where uh, a b bar plus b bar or a bar b situation which you are going to put it as a exclusive or b right so I, I just gave you a hint right so while, while you are simplifying there will you have to make sure that these kind of uh, expressions will be appearing and there you put the exclusive or b and you come up with a xo gate uh, solution okay so that's if you want, you can do it as exercise, but it's a fairly difficult thing unless you have seen the uh, proof because you have to do it in a very systematic way. Okay, right. So, so what the mathematicians or the computer engineers found is you can come up with this circuit. Right. This is again you don't have to memorize. Right. You don't have to memorize. It's again by using the logic we can do this. Right. Just just using the logic we can do this. Right. So what we have is now. Closely look at this. Closely look at this. What we have here is the half pad, right? What we have here is the half pad, right? So XO gate is doing the addition, AND gate is doing the carry, right? Carry out. Right? So you can see it's a half pad. Now what we have to do is half pad will give, for example, if we are adding, so so don't memorize these things, ah, memorize na karan ne pa, kujhu dukha piri ne parigana na nee. Right, one zero one um, zero one one. Say one one zero one. So zero one is one. That one plus one is zero one. One plus zero is one. That one and one is zero one. So that is how it works. Now remember, we have added these two numbers. Now for the first one, this is enough. Enough. That is that is why I said for rightmost digits. Even a half a day is going to work because definitely this is zero, right? So there is no number. But when it comes to situation like this, right? First we have can add these two numbers which we have already done, right? X and Y is now already added, right? Now if there is a carry from the previous step, that has to be added again, right? Added again. So addition means what? X O gate. Now what we did? Now already we have the X plus Y. Now again we are putting X O gate. Uh, because XO gate is going to do that logic, right? So then that output plus the carry from the previous step is feed to this XO gate. Now, uh, now here this addition is done. Uh, here uh, this addition is done, right? So now we get the total sum like this, right? So you can see you don't have to memorize, so don't memorize, right? So now you get the sum, okay? Now let's see how to get this. Uh, so you can do it for next one, next one, next one, okay? Now how to get this carry out? Now you know that uh, how this carry out will happen, right? So as I told you, this carry out will be there when, when what? Can someone tell me when is when are we going to get this carry out? 
if you just look at it closely right so carry out is going to have if this result in a carry out or oh, that means 1 1 becomes uh, 0 and carry out if this is result in carry out or if the next addition result in carry out right if this first addition result in carry out or second addition result in carry out then we are going to have carry out so what we have to do first addition result in carry out means we have to do and gate here because if both are having one so only there will be carry out remember when both are one only we are going to have a carry out here also when both are one only we are going to have carry out therefore we are going to use and gate so that when both are one only it is going to be one but if you get a carry out here or here right that, that means if it is something like one plus one carry we got a carry out but in this case here we are not getting carry out but uh, when we add in that and this we are going to get a carry out so if if we have a carry out from this situation or this situation there will be a carry out so therefore this is carry out to uh, add in these two numbers this is carry out to add in this one and the previous carry if there is a carry in this case so this case there will be a carry therefore what we have to use is a O gate therefore what we have to use is the O gate that is how you draw it so don't you don't have to memorize it right by just right arguing with this you can draw it by yourself you can draw it by yourself that is actually what is expected right so that is those are the people who are going to do some uh, designing new things etc right so those who are going to memorize these things uh, they are they are they are they may just pass the exams but they are not going to do in real world things actually uh, so actually the in examinations examiners what they have to do is they have to make sure that only those who understand pass the exam those who don't understand fail the exam because without understanding those who pass the exam is going to be burden to the society right so that is why we have a huge issue in Sri Lanka where people are going after the government asking for jobs right so so understand uh, things right and then you are going to be a uh, very productive person who can do interesting thing useful things okay now this is how we get the uh, full ladder now you don't have to use it twice because uh, now we have three inputs right three inputs now let's look at the uh, ripple carry ladder right so again i'm keep on erasing this and keep on writing this anyway right now you can see i have to do this addition for this rightmost bits then the next set of bits next for the next set of bits next set of bits that means i have to do this of course full ladder is now going to do, take three inputs but i have to do this uh, for this row this row this row this row etc if i have eight bit data i have to do this eight times right so i have to do this eight times so of course i can use the same full ladder for this i am sending the data then uh, i got the sum and the carry out of course the carry out become the carry in and again the next data so i can use this adder uh, if it is eight bit data i can use, i have to feed this adder eight times right i have to feed this adder eight times of course it will do the work right it is going to do the go, go, going to do the work but uh, what the Computer engineers came up with this. They thought that okay, rather than reusing the same adder, why don't we have set of adders as a sequence so that uh, this can be done in one adder, this can be done in another adder, right? So next row can be done in one. Of course, though we have set of adders, uh, they we can't run them parallelly because we need this output to run this one. We need the output of this one to run this one because we, otherwise this row have no idea of whether we are going to get a carry or not. Right, so that, that is also something you have to remember. So what we do is uh, we are going to have a, a series of adders now. Right, series of adders now. Right? Series of adders. Uh, we can arrange them like this. We can arrange them like this. Right. Uh, so this is going to do this addition. This is going to do this addition and next one. And of course, this is going to do the final addition. Right. So it's set of a, a sequence of adders kept like this and it, it has to be connected because uh, carry out of the first one has to be the carry in for the next one so you can see this is the carry out for this one which is feeded as the carry in for the next one so the carry out for the second one will be the carry in for the third one likewise uh, for the final row uh, 
uh, there will be a carry in from the previous one. Of course, if there is a carry out, uh, we have to ignore it. Of course, if there is a carry out, we say that the result is wrong or overflow. Right? So that means the data is too big for uh, too big. Remember when we are when we were doing the programming, right? Remember we took a byte variable, right? We took a byte variable. So now you can combine these things, right? Byte x and we assign some number. Remember byte is 8 bit. Range is 2 to the power 7 minus 1. Sorry, minus 2 to the power 7. Right, minus 2 to the power 7. 2. 2 to the power 7 minus 1. So 2 to the power 7 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Right. So minus 128 to uh, 127. So if you had a number, assign a number like b x equal 127. Of course, if you print it, you will get 127. But if you increment it, like x plus plus, all of a sudden you got a garbage value. Why? Uh, this one byte cannot keep it. Same thing will happen when you add also. Uh, if there is a carry out from the, the leftmost adder, that means your result is not going to be a valid value. So we call it this arithmetic overflow occurs. Right? Overflow occurs that the result is garbage because uh, we are not going to get this one. Right? Because this is not 0, 0, 0. That is 1, 0, 0. But uh, if the last one also carry out, that means uh, we are going to see only this, which is 0, 0, 0. But that is not the answer. right? So that means carry overflow of, uh, uh, means uh, the result is wrong. Result is garbage. right? Because we have our uh, bit, 8 bit can't uh, tackle this. Of course, 8 bit can tackle the two numbers, but 8 bit can't tackle the result. Right? 8 bit can't tackle the result. Okay. So that is another reason why whenever there is a arithmetic operation, so say assume that you have two byte variables, whenever you add those two byte variables, automatically, implicitly, it is the result is integer, right? It's promoted to integers. So remember, we explained those, right? So we have explained every bit of things. Now you can combine these things, right? So programming with computer system, right? Likewise, you have to combine these things, then you will have better understanding, better confidence, right? Better Right, so so the, the last term I use is better knowledge, right? So the so always, the, of course, it start with knowledge, but knowledge is not the end of it. The end of it is confidence. Okay, end of it is confidence. Right? How confident are you about these things? How confident are you to do new things? Okay, right. So that is called ripple carry adder. Ripple carry adder. Of course, for the rightmost, you can have a half adder also, because always this is zero, but for subsequent one, always full adders must be there. But when we are designing a triple carry adder, what we do is we always take full adders because uh, then it's more consistent. But of course, if you want, you can have a half adder as well. Right? Again, why we call it ripple carry adder? Right? Ripple carry adder. Right? Ripple. The reason is uh, so when you have something like this, we call it a ripple. Right, ripple. So in this case, of course, the ripple goes like this. Right, uh, this output carry of this one is feeded to this one, feeded to this one, feeded to this one. You can see, it's like a ripple. It's like a ripple. Right. So that is why you have ripple noodles. Right, ripple noodles. Ripple ice cream. Right. So ripple ice cream. Well, ripple steam. So much done. Me ripple ice cream. Can you manage ripple noodles? Can you manage? Kela. Ha. Kya wada muko? Water ka jana ripple ice cream. Kela. So that means. That ice cream has that ripples in the cone, no whatever the ice cream itself. The ripple noodles have something like this. Normal noodles are something like this. Neither Harishan noodles are your main. Maggi noodles have ripple noodles, right? So you like a little bit more, like right? right? Same thing, it ripples like this. Ripples like this, it carry into the next level, next level, next level, right? So I hope you got the idea of what is mean by uh, full ladder, right? Full sorry, ripple carry adder. Now we discuss the half adder. Full adder, ripple carry adder. So ripple carry adder is just a series of adders arranged, right? Of course, first one you, if you want, you can make it a half adder. But most of the time, what we do is we make all those things full adders, right? All those things full adders, right? Right. Now let's see uh, for the full adder uh, how to get this carry out, right? How to get this carry out as an expression? So that is very simple thing. Uh, you can see here. So let's first take sum. 
Uh, now here you can see there is a x x exclusive or y right x exclusive or y will be there here right so i'll just little bit zoom this right so here you will have x exclusive or y now for that again you are going to carry in the uh, this one so the sum will be c sorry uh, let's take from x exclusive over y x exclusive o y right so that is this one then you are again exclusive o carry c so that is your final result for the sum right so x exclusive o y again exclusive o c so that is your sum right this is your sum Right. So now let's see how to get the carry out, uh, carry out, see out, see out. That is, this is x dot y, x and y, x and y. Here you get uh, c in and x exclusive o y, and those two are and again. Right. So first, I will write the x exclusive o. Sorry, just. x exclusive o y and c in right so those two are now there so those two are and now here another and what we have to do is o so just that thing and that thing we have to if you want you can draw a matrix right? if you want you can so that is your uh, scary out right x and y o x exclusive o and c right so that is how you are going to get the carry out now of course the sum is x exclusive o y exclusive o c okay so i hope you got it uh, if you need the expression uh, that is how you get the expression right so that is uh, not that difficult right so we are done with the adder now so if you have any questions on adders please raise your questions right of course you can raise it now itself Right. Otherwise, uh, immediately uh, post it to the WhatsApp group. Right. So you are here to uh, solve problems. Right. Understand things, not to carry. Right. Uh, bring things that you don't understand. Of course, I know that we are in a culture, terrible culture. Right. So, right. We are. Some people do IT because people says that IT is difficult. Right. Some people pick mathematics because uh, people says that mathematics is difficult. So that is a terrible. Okay, I am a gong matavadya. Sorry, I am a maruhi ke lava karan ne pa. Lava karan no one make a challenging hunger, right? Because it's interesting, right? So again, we are living in a society where when someone something is not understood, you what happens? You worship. But no thei no thei kyu kama am kada karan ne? Vandala ena. Under mata kadi aaga na. But no thei no thei val kiya ne aaya thava am kada karan ne? Garu karan ho. ंदलाय <laughs> Carry, carry out can't be one. Carry out can't be one. I didn't, I didn't say anything like that. So when you mean the, no, the final one? Uh, the garbage. All right. We right. can get okay. garbage. Okay, okay. I will explain that. Right. So I will explain that. So this one cannot be one. That is what I mean. Right. This one is always zero. Right. This one is always zero. This one cannot be one. Right. So that is what what I explained. So let's take something like this. So I will explain. So I will take a eight bit one also, so so that it's more meaningful. Say I am having one zero 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 one one zero one. Uh, so let's have something like another one here. Then I have one. Zero one zero one 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 one, right? 
So assume that we have 8 bit number. Now this is a valid 8 bit number. Forget about the 2's complement. Of course, this is going to be a negative number then. Forget about the 2's complement also, right? Uh, assume that these are valid numbers, right? So of course, it's a valid number. Now let's add it. Now, of course, there will not be any carry here. 1 plus 1 is 0, remainder 1. Uh, that is 0, remainder 1, right? So 1, 1 is 0. 0 plus 1 is uh, again 1. That means 3. 3 means 1, carry 1. Right. Again, 1 carry 1. Uh, this is 1. This is 1. No carry. This is 1. 1 is 0 carry 1. Right. 0 carry 1. Uh, so the carry 1 has to go there. So I will again do this. Right. 1 1 is 0 carry 1, 1 1 is 0 carry 1, 1 1 is 1 carry 1, 1 1 is 1 carry 1, 1 0 0 is 1, 0 1 is so no carry, 0 1 is 1 no carry, 1 1 is 0 and there is a carry, now 1 1 is 0 there is a carry, right. there is a carry, now because this is 8 bit number, 8 bit number we are not going to have this number because it's only only that registry or the memory location is capable of keeping only 8 bit. Therefore, this though it's carry uh, this carry out, it is not going to be uh, catered or uh, processed by another one because we have only 8 bits in the uh, our ripple carry adder because it's we are only uh, capable of storing 8 bits. Of course, someone will ask why can't we have a ninth uh, uh, set of full adder? Of course, we can have but our registry is so whatever is not capable of storing this. So the issue is not with the uh, ripple carry adder. Uh, our memory or the uh, registry is not capable of storing that. Therefore, we don't process it. Therefore, what happens is this one is lost. Right? This one is lost. Actually, the answer should have been this. But what you see as the answer is this. So you can see this answer is garbage. This answer is garbage because actually the answer is this one. Of course, this number is perfectly valid. This number is perfectly valid. But the addition is now uh, garbage value because we can't store this. So that is the reason it is nothing to do with the capability of the address. It is something to do with the, uh, the limitation of the storage, right? Uh, because we have to have convention uh, restrictions like whether are we going to have 8 bit or 16 bit or whatever. Because of that limitation in your storage, we are not going to, uh, we are, if the, whenever there is an overflow or carry out from the leftmost one, that means it's a garbage value because we know that this number is not going to be stored. So, is it uh, clarified your concern? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Right. So, so whenever you have any uh, thing, uh, then things that you need clarification, you have to ask. Of course, I might be able to clarify a few things. Otherwise, I will say, okay, I am also a little bit confused. So, something like that. So I am very honest on that, right? So as intellectuals, professionals, we have to be very honest, right? So if I can't explain it, I will say, okay. Oh, I will say, okay, I will, I need some more time. So I will have a look at it and I will explain you again, right? Right, okay. So, right. So I hope you got what is mean by adder fully, right? Fully, right? Right. So th then someone will ask why we don't have a something called subtractor actually you, if you want you can have subtractor but remember we learned that when we have two's complement numbers uh, subtraction is same as addition right so they are, that is why we are not much interested about subtractors uh, that is the beauty of uh, two's complement numbers so someone will ask why we are worrying too much of those things swapping with adding one negative number no when you have that two's complement representation, you don't need a subtraction operation separately because subtraction is also addition. That is why we are interested about two's complement. So that is also something you have to learn, right? Sometimes students don't know why we have two's complement, right? Why we have two's complement, then you don't need subtraction operation, right? Uh, so I explained that those things when you are doing the number systems, okay? Right. So let's move on to the next uh, digital circuit component, com uh, combination of circuit component that is decoder. That is decoder. So it's another thing. Anyway, uh, throughout your BIT history, I think they have never asked a question about decoders, encoders, multiplexers in semester one. So that is an another thing I want to mention, right? 
uh, right? I can't see, remember any single questions on decoder, encoder, but it has been there in your syllabus for a long time, right? So maybe because now the, you know that computer system two subject is no longer there because we had the computer system two in your final year. Uh, still we are having it for the the, the current badges. But now, computer system 2 subject is no longer there. Therefore, the examiner will, there is a high possibility that examiner will check those things that used to be tested in your computer system 2 in your computer system 1. Right? Actually, some of those things like pipelining, those things were in the semester final year. Now, the examiner already start asking questions on those things. Therefore, uh, in the future, the examiner will might ask there's a high possibility he will check these things like decoder etc. Of course, uh, the adders are tested, right? Uh, so the concepts like adders are even in the A level ICT now, right? You know that then you know that of course these are not be very big things. Even A level ICT student can understand these things, right? Uh, they are they now have the flip flops and everything is in your A level ICT now, right? Right. So therefore you must be able to know these things because those are basic things, right? Right. So let's look at the decoder. Let's look at the decoder. So decoder is something like this where you have n inputs and 2 to the power n outputs. Right? So you have n inputs, 2 to the power n outputs. Right? So what decoder does is when you have when I have when I need to have few inputs, but I want to send a very large number of signals, right? So very large number of signals with less input lines, I will go for decoder, right? I will go for decoder. So that means, for example, uh, I need four output signals, but I don't want to have four inputs for that. I, I am going to do it using uh, two inputs, right? Two inputs, then we call it two to four decoder. Say I need to have eight outputs. Of course, if I have eight inputs, I can do that. But rather than having eight inputs, what I am going to do is I am going to have only three inputs. So that is called three to eight decoder, right? You can see n to two to the power n, right? n to two to the power n. So it starts with one to two, two to four, three to eight, four to sixteen, etc. So you can send sixteen signals, output signals, using four input signals. So that is good. That is good, right? So how do you draw that as a block diagram? So you, so this is a three to eight a decoder. You can see three input sig signals, eight output signal. Right? I think I have made a mess of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there must must, must be one more, right? So there must be one more. I, I forget to add one more. So this is so basically a three to eight uh, decoder. Okay? Right. So there's a again there's a pre prerequisite. Right? There's a prerequisite that is right only one output will be on all others are off so that is very important you can see decoder has n inputs n number of inputs depending on the combination of the input values one of the two to the power n possible output line will be on while all other output lines are off so that is very important right so this is not just random inputs outputs at a time only one output will be one all the others are zero. For example, if I take a possible combination, when this is one, all others are going to be zero. All others are going to be zero. When this is one, all others are going to be zero. When this is one, all others are going to be zero. So that is how uh, it has to work. It has to work, right? So if that is, if that nature is also there, uh, we call it decoder. If multiples can be one, that is not a decoder. Okay? That means if at a time. Uh, this is also one, this is also one, while others are zero. No, that is not decoded. Right? That is not decoded. Okay, so there is a uh, specific logic when it comes to decoders. Right? Specific logic when it comes to decoders. Okay? Right. So again, if you have any questions, just raise it then and there. Right? So that is very important. Right? Because that is the best possible place to understand. Whenever you get an issue, uh, question, raise it at that point. Clarify it. It's going to be with you forever. Okay, right. So this part is very important, right? Uh, possible outlines with, with only one on and all the others are off at a time, right? When this is on, others are off. When this is on, others are off. When this is on, others are off. Okay, so that is how uh, it's work, right? So now 
let's see a let's first look at a practical example right so without move, before moving to the decoders so a lot of people do, can't give a practical example if you can't do a practical example definitely you never going to use decoder in a circuit you never because that means you have no practical examples means you never going to give a uh, use that concept right you never going to use that concept right a lot of people think that the place where you are going to use this concept is exam no that is why a lot of countries are gradually getting rid of exams because the moment your mind goes to the exam right so so that is not good thing right so you are out off from the education studying right understanding okay now let's look at a very practical example a very simple simple practical example right say i have i have four lights say something like signal light to i want to give us some sort of a signal not a traffic signal i have four lights here right so say i will call it light 0 1 2 3 or whatever red light green light blue light and orange light uh, of course i wa i want only one light to be lit at a time so that means only one light is on at a time for example when this is on all these are off when this is on all these are off right so you know we can give that kind of signals neither kolan scotch ekuna kola patu wenawa ratu nibila ne neither ratu patu wenawa kola nibila thiyenna ehema api thuma ehema ekak thamai ekak wela patu wenna kiyala hari so now what i need this of course these lights are somewhere some distance away say 1 km away right so what i need to do is i want to give some signals to someone else right uh, but only one will be on at a time only one will be on at a time so i am somewhere here 1 km away right of course assume that you can get power to this light from there there is power source right there is a power source now what i can do one possible solution is i have four lines here of course the neutral will be there i am just showing the live lines i can send four lines there and i can have some switches here right switches here right so when i want to so assume that there's a neutral uh, neutral lines coming back or whatever right uh, so when i want to on this one i will what i do i will on this i will keep this off and then this is on right this is on so i am taking very simple example if you still little bit shaky about what is the purpose of a decoder this will solve your problem right now when i want to on this one of course remember when i on this one others are going to be off huh? so that is my prerequisite that is how i want this to happen right that is how i want this to happen right so that case what we do what i will off this right i will make it off Right, I will make it off and I will make this on. Now this is on. Others are off. Of course, I can do that now. Now what my requirement is giving different different signals to people there, right? People there, right? By uh, lighting one light at a time, right? Now if this is one kilometers away, right? So I need four kilometers of wire. Four kilometers of wire. Right. Of course, if there is a neutral also coming back, there will be five kilometer. Forget about the neutral. You can see if I am one kilometer away, I need four kilometers of wire to do this. Of course, I can do this at at different different times. I can light different different things. Of course, my prerequisite is two lights are never going to be uh, on at at the same time. Right. So at the same time. Okay. Right. Now, if we have a decoder, what we can do is we can reduce this uh, length of wires. Right, length of wires. Actually, that is the that is the reason why we are having decoders, right? Uh, so now let's look at a smart solution. Of course, of course, this is a solution that anyone who has the basic electricity uh, idea or of basic electricity can come up with, right? So can come up with. Uh, now assume that, of course, this is now you need four kilometers of wires, right? Forget about the neutral, uh, four kilometers wire. Now, if you have, if you know what is how the decoder works. You can do this with only two kilometers of wire. That means I am cutting half of the cost for the wires, right? If I have only two kilometers of wires, still I can do this functionality. Of course, I need a decoder. So that means two kilometers of wire, 
plus a decoder i can do this so can you think of something like that so right so forget about the decoder uh, can you think of a way of doing this using two kilometers of wire that means at a time i want to elim uh, uh, illuminate one of the bulb only right so, but you have only two kilometers of wire right so if you can think of it of course what you have is a smart solution right? smart solution so this is a general solution anyone can think of but a smart solution is where you need less wires right you, you can see i'm going to cut half of the wires cost of the wires to this right so now let's see how to do that right uh, of course if you have learn about decoders now you can come up with the answer if you have understood it right so this is what we are going to do right so this is what we are going to do so what we do is of course the power supply is from there is there so just we have seen the signal right right so what we are going to have is we are going to have a two to four decoder here of course decoder is a very simple very cheap device right two to four decoder here decoder so i am going to have two wires here so that means then so this is some here so that means two kilometers of wires are needed from there because it's a two to four decoder you can see if it, if it is three eight if it is two four outputs will be there i know we discussed that later you can see two inputs four outputs will be there right so what we are going to do is have those four outputs go into these bulbs right now you can see i have only two inputs uh, let's call it x and y right x and y uh, now i have four outputs right now what i am going to do is uh, now we, i have four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 that means both are off that is 0 0 both are on that is 1 1 this is on this is off right this is 0 1 this is on this is off that is 1 0 right now you can see i can uh, with those two uh, switches i can play around in four ways four different ways four different ways okay now assume that when both are on there will be power going to the decoder in both the lines when both are off there is no power going to the decoder right when this is off this is one here no power going but there is power going like this right of course we are sending power only to the decoder right right so but lights are separately uh, that i told you right so lights are separately powered right lights are separately powered just we want to send the signal to the decoder right so how the decoder work is when both are zero right this only this will be one others will be zero right when both are one only this will be one these are zero likewise uh, for different different combinations only one is going to be one that means when when this bulb get one it is going to be illuminated whereas other bulbs are going to be oh when this bulb is getting one others are going to be zero that is how the decoder works therefore this is going to be on where, while others are off likewise when you do some combinations here all of a sudden one light get off and other, another light is going to be on right so that is what i needed right that is what i needed of course if i have a decoder and just two kilometers of wire now i can do that earlier i needed four kilometers of wire right now let's see now i hope you got the idea but only prerequisite is uh, or the restriction is using the decoder this arrangement i can't on two lights at the same time that no that is not possible right only one light at the same time something like signal light right so when green is on red is off right something like that. of course there's a yellow one which is overlapping so forget about that right uh, so that is the so i hope you got the so so before moving to the how the decoders are implemented you have to 100 percent sure why we have decoder what are the usages right so then only if you are satisfied right and then only you ask okay i'm okay so that is going to be a very useful thing it looks like very useful thing now let's learn how to do this right so what happens is some people they jump into how to de develop it without understanding or appreciating why we need this right so what are, what are otherwise if you don't feel like it's needed or if you feel like no i didn't get it don't go into uh, how to do it how to do it because no point right okay now let's see how the decoder can be uh, designed right how, how a decoder can be designed 
So let's start with 1 to 2 decoder. Right? So 1 to 2 decoder because remember 1 to uh, n to 2 to the power n. So 1 to 2 to the power 1 is 2, 1 to 2 decoder. Right? So that is the simplest possible decoder we can think of. Uh, this is the circuit. This is the circuit. So we have one input. Uh, this input is taken directly or the same input we can take it as the output 1. Uh, we can have a not gate then get that output as the output 0. Now you can see the same i is going like this, i is inverted then going like this. Now let's write the truth table. What are the possibilities of input? It can be 0 or it can be 1. Right? It can be 0 or it can be 1. Uh, for example, when this is 0, when this is 0, so that is I am interested about this one. Right? When this is 0, output 0 is going to be 1. Now you can see output 0 is 1. Output 1 is going to be 0 because now I am taking 0, right? Because the same thing is going there, so output 1 is 0. When this is 1, right? When this is 1, when this is 1, output 0 is going to be 0. Now this is 1, output 0 is going to be 0. Output 1 is going to be 1 because it's just the input is output. Now you can see this truth table is, you don't have to memorize, right? So this truth table is very simple thing, right? And now you can see all of a sudden, when input is 0, only O0 is 1, other one is O. This is on, this is O. When this is on, that means when this is on, when I am sending a 1 here, now this is on, this is O. Now that is exactly what I need. At a time only one output must be on while the other output is off. Now, uh, now if these are two bulbs, I don't need two lines now. I have only one line, right? When the when I am sending zero or when I am not sending electricity, uh, this one is on, right? This one is on, this one is off. When I am sending electricity or I am sending one as a signal, this is on, this is off, right? So that is exactly what we call decoder right at a time only one output is going to be one and you can see this circuit is going to do that this circuit is going to do that and we call that one to two decoder right one to two decoder now you can see using one wire i am enabling either this position or this position or this one or this one okay but i am sending only one wire right so, so there are no two wires to send signal to this one and this one i am sending that signal to the decoder decoder is sending that and decoder is sending that. Right? The decoder is closer to the output or the uh, that result. Right? So therefore, I am from source. I am sending just one wire. Otherwise, I have to send two wires from the source. Right? Right. Now let's look at the. I hope you got it. If you don't get it, just let me know. Right? So let's discuss a two to four decoder. So same thing. Right? Same thing. Now what I what I have is two inputs, four outputs two inputs, four outputs, again only one of the output is going to be one at a time for different different combinations, right. So let's first look at the truth table, right. So I have two inputs, four outputs, right. So these are the possibilities, 0, 0 means both are 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, right. So what I need to do is, when these are 0, both are 0, I will just mark it as I0, I1, I2, I3. You can see that 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 you can Hari, kami ini kemana utapat ya kami kira, oh, hari utapat ya tama, utapat ya kwen ne, mihem unat pas, mihem hitu ad pas, wada, mih logik explain kerana lesi, nanti kami awa maru itu anu, tu ada, ada dina aku dengan campus itu dina, mih nawa kuadi kira kat dina ni, darah harap dina, ini mih nawa kuadi ada dina, ni mih 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 kita zero kia, kita one kia, nanti tu zero kia, nih zero kia ad pas, mih logik kita last time explain kerana pulau, hari, explain kerana pulau. Uh, right, so that is why we uh, take it as zero. Right now, you can see that when both are zero, it's something like binary in, uh, in base ten. Make it become window again. Now, make clear, na? Make our here the high power there. What they make window window again? What the window? Window again? What they make 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 window again
अन्य एक आप में बता अन्य तो रफ़े ना when both the zero zero this i zero is one others are zero when zero one it is something like decimal one then output one is one others are zero when it is one zero output two is one so that is why we call it two right एक तरह में zero की वजह से लारे then one one it is something like decimal number three then o three is one others are zero so that is why we take it as O zero one O two O three rather than O one O two O three O three okay right so now you can see this is my requirement right this is my requirement uh, for this combination only this is one these are false for this combination only this is one for this is on other side of for this combination only this is on other side of for this combination only this is one on other side of of course I can't go for another combination because there I have only two inputs. With two inputs, I can play around only four combinations only. Right? For those four combinations, now I have four, one of the four outputs will be on, while other three are off. Right? So that is my requirement again. So this is exactly what I explain like that. I like to, I mean, practical example like that. Why are kilometer dehing karmo kiya? Then when why are kilometer dekhai hona hai? I zero I one karay di. Now itni zara two two wire put mana hai? Light take out hai. Decoding light gaon hai karam. Right? Now let's see. Can we have a Digital circuit doing this, or can we have digital circuit that result in this truth table, right? Of course, you can have. अरे वाट और ना मैं करने को लाऊँ कौन आता? वो दाउद को ठाकर कटा पिया दिन है ना कपार? अभी आप अभी टेकने को लाऊँ? मैं ना मैं देखा आ रहा है कि ना मैं आउट पुट टेकते का? कानों में कानों पे आदमी देखो ना वो सामो प्रोडक्ट टेली बना एक आप के ना ये मैं इनपुट देखा थे कि मैं आउट पुट टेक मैं इनपुट देखा थे तो वहाँ पे मैं वाकी डायग्राम हाथरा कांडी नॉन अरे अंदर बात से तेरे को दिन दिन आने वाले में कम तेरे ना इट इस वेरी सिंपल लॉजिक राइट इफ यू ड्रॉ लाइक दिस यू आर गोइंग टू गेट दिस राइट सो यू हैव द टू इनपुट्स समटाइम्स यू गेट द I1 as it is, right? So I will take the last one. Uh, you get the I0 inverted, I1 inverted. This one, I0 as it is, I1 inverted, right? So that is this one, right? Right? This one, I0 inverted, I1 as it is, right? So you can see this two table is compatible with this one. So let's take this one first, first one, right? So when both are zero, I0 is going to be O zero is going to be one, right? So when both are zero means, uh, so with, with, let's take that one first. So when both are zero means this is zero, this is zero, this is zero. In that case, and me and again give it to me. Can I fill it in? Or better, me can and again give it. Ah, one hundred and ten. Now, one ball missile. Hurry, make ten. No, I zero ba dot I one ba. Hurry, and line no, and not line no, not line. I can do it, right? Now what happens? Zero ba is one. He also zero by is one. What you get is somewhere here. You get one here, right? Here also you get one here. One dot one is one. So that is exactly what I need. Zero zero combination. Zero zero combination. This has to be one, right? So zero zero combination. This has to be one. But not only that. All others has to be zero. Now let's see. All others are zero at this point. When zero zero is same, this has to be one. All others has to be zero, right? Now let's see. Uh, for this one, uh, now for this one, uh, this zero goes as it is. You can see the zero goes as it is for AND gate. When there is a zero, it is zero. So therefore, this is zero, right? For this one, for this one, uh, this zero goes as it is, right? You can see the zero goes as it is. Therefore, this is zero, right? For this one, this zero goes as it is. Therefore, this is zero. Now you can see uh, zero, 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 one is there. When both are zero, only this is one, right? Only this is one, all are zero. Now let's take another example, another combination, right? So let's take uh, zero one. I think that is where we have made a mistake. Zero one. Uh, in zero one, what happened is, so this is the zero has to be one now, right? Because otherwise, and gate both has to be one. This one has to go as it is. This one has to go as it is, uh, and this not has to be there. So which one is that? 
now you can see one 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 like this it goes to now here we got a one here uh, here this one has to be there here this one has to be there. this one now you can see for this one so that what is this this is i zero bar i one right you can see i zero bar i one for that it is going to be one right so that is this one for other combination it is going to be zero now let's see whether it's going to be zero if you take this one if you take this one right you can see this i zero is coming as it is right this i zero is zero it is coming as it is therefore it is zero right so i will take this one also right uh, here this is one but now one is inverted to zero that zero is coming here therefore this is zero likewise you have to think yeah, very slowly for any combination only one will be one only one of these will be one while all the others are zero right for any combination when you change the combination another one will be one while the others are zero now that is exactly what we needed that is exactly what we needed so that is what is called decoder right decoder now i need only two inputs but i have two outputs but only when we have different different combination only one will be on while all the others are zero right so again think about it right that is not very difficult thing i think i have made this correctly i will double check right so i will double check uh, if it is maybe i have set one of those two things right i will double check okay right so that is what is known as the two to four decoder now using two inputs i have four outputs but only one output is going to be enabled at a time only one output is going to be enabled no two outputs will be enabled at the same time right so therefore we can do it similarly if i have three inputs and a three to eight decoder any one of the eight outputs can be enabled for example when all are zero maybe this one is enabled when all are one this one will be enabled then zero one zero one other one when something is enabled because other are always because you know that in n gate if at least one is zero it is zero right so therefore in when one is when when for one of the component when all are one for all the components at least one is different at least one is different means at least one of those are zero right therefore they are going to be zero it's a very 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 it's not difficult logic right it's not lo difficult logic right but if you know what is n gate n gate n gate no n gate when both are on only on o gate when at least one is on it is on right so likewise if you have that in your uh, brain uh, you will understand and if, of course you can draw this diagram without any issue right now you can see if I have eight lights, right? I just need three kilometers of wire rather than eight kilometers of wire, right? Right. So this is exactly what happens when it comes to memory management, right? So memory management. So remember, we discussed the computer architecture. Uh, we can consider memory as a uh, set of or grid. It's not considered that is the case, right? That is the case. For example, I will just get back to the. Uh, whiteboard right so you know that when it comes to memory there are millions of memory cells right? millions of memory cells are there right for example if you have 8 bit address 2 to the power 8024 right likewise it keep moving right so there are millions of memory cells where each memory cell has address each memory cell has address like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, etc. Then there will be some data. Right? Again, bits. Now, the control unit has to send when it needs to read this particular memory cell value, memory cell. Right? It has to send a signal to that memory cell saying, okay, I need this particular memory cell. Right? I need this particular memory cell and it has to be read. read. What happens is, if you have, for example, uh, assume that we have 1024 memory cells then to send that signal we need 1024 lines 1024 lines because we have 1024 signals because at a time only one memory cell is going to be read we are not going to read two memory cells at the same time right at a time only one memory cell is going to be uh, just like at a time only one bulb is going to be on while others are off same thing right at a time when this is on, others are off because we are not, we are never going to access two memory cells at the same time. Now we need 124 uh, lines to send signal to these memory cells. Now if you have a decoder, what happens? 
So that is the most important thing to understand now, right? Now, if you have a decoder, what happens? So here we have the decoder in the memory unit itself, right? Uh, from there, of course, the 1024 lines will be there. I assume 1024 memory cells are there. But now we don't need 1024 lines. How many lines we need? Remember, 2 to 2 to the power n, right? So 2 to the power n, uh, 1024 is 2 to the power 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 64, I think 2 to the power 10, right? 2 to the power 10. That means I don't need 1024 lines. I just need 10 lines. So 10 lines is not a big thing. 10 lines is not a big thing, right? So just I need 10 lines. So for example, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, this one. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, this one. Maybe 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, maybe this one. Likewise, because we know that there are 1024 combinations are there when we have 10 lines. Uh, now we can access, we can send the signal uh, to the memory unit. Okay, I need to access this one, this cell. So not the other cells, this cell, right? Again, when it is two to the, uh, when I have eleven lines, I can go for thousand twenty four into two, right? So when it is twelve, thousand twenty four into two into two. Again, uh, about when it comes to about twenty, uh, th that is huge. That is huge. So twenty is not a big deal, right? But millions of lines are big deal, right? But uh, we can access thousands of millions of uh, memory cells addresses using about 20 50 20 30 lines so that is why we need decoders in the uh, decoders in the uh, computer right the process and communication basically the memory side has a decoder memory side has a decoder okay right so now we are done with decoder as well now we have done the adder and the decoder right adder and the decoder uh, so the next one is multiplexer. Right? Next one is multiplexer. So if you can understand these things, you are in a very good position to. Uh, of course, if you are, if you like IT, if you want to be IT professional, right? If you, it's always good, right? How the multi memory is accessed, how the things are processed in the processor. Otherwise, uh, your confidence is not good, right? So well, that man, say, katha karadi, samavar sheki. Confidence again, katha karadi, hari. Confidence again, ne? Vibha ka pass karani me? Aaj degree agar pe kya confidence hai ne? Aaj aur kari? Khata karan ne baaye, vedak karan ne baaye, kari? Me final year project te karadi samaru sahe ne struggle lega karan. Ega ega ye? Vibha ka pass? They have passed semester one, semester two, semester three, semester four, but no confidence. So the confidence level is not good enough, right? So again, if they are not going to go into the industry and do some something really uh, fruitful. Okay, right. So let let look at. Therefore, spend some time. Right, spend some time. Use your processor. Right, then your potential is going to be higher. Right, potential is going to be higher. And also, when you have some leisure time, right, so do some things, activities which increase your brain power. Right. So for example, uh, I frequently play chess. Right? I frequently play chess because otherwise, uh, I'm I'm not I'm not going to keep this brain power forever. Right, so because it's a challenging thing, right? So someone I just go to chess.com, I have that, right? So so just randomly pick some player, right? So that it does everything. So just I I can win, I can lose, some days I win more, some days I lose more, right? So that is okay, right? But the only thing is that the win or lose is not the issue. Uh, how you play, right? How you take a challenge, how whether your brain is working, you can double check, right? At least sometimes we feel like, okay, early days, uh, say, last month I was always in thousands or nine hundreds. Now all of a sudden I am in eight hundred. Now I know that these days, during this month, my processing power has come down, right? So that is, it's like a meter. Monkey one, okay, brain, you can see that 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 you can see reasonably good. If you are in thousands, actually you are really, really good, right? So if you are in six hundreds, no, still your brain power is not that good, right? So you have to improve it. At least take it to somewhere like nine hundred, thousand, right? Go to the chess.com. Uh, now you can, it's better than rating yourself using an exam, right? Because it's going to rate your brain power, brain power, right? Okay. So now let's move on to the multiplexer, right? Let's move on to the multiplexer. So what is a multiplexer, right? Multiplexer is something like this. You have two to the power n inputs, 
right? 2 to the power n inputs and 1 output. Uh, remember in decoder, so you have to compare these things. In decoder, you have n inputs, 2 to the power n outputs. That means 3 means 8. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? So in decoder, n inputs, 2 to the power n outputs, but only one output is enabled. That, that is that has to be mentioned. In multiplexers, you have 2 to the power n inputs. Say 2 to the power n means if you if you take n as 2, n as 2. So that means 4 outputs, right? 4 outputs, but just one input. Sorry, 4 inputs, 4 inputs, just one output. So that kind of a thing is called four. So what, what what kind of multiplexers you can have? You can have 2 to 1 multiplexer, right? Because 2 to 1, because 2 to the power n2. Uh, then of course you can have an n equal 1, uh, 2 to 1. So when n equal 1, 2 to 1 multiplexer. When n equal 2, 4 to 1 multiplexer. When n equal 3, 8 to 1 multiplexer. 16 to 1 multiplexer. 32 to 1 multiplexer. Likewise, you can have different different multiplexers. Okay. So that means uh, 32 input lines, only one output line. Right. 16 input lines, only one output line. So those are uh, the different different type of multiplexers okay uh, but here what happens is so i will take another example for first you have to understand so when someone say okay uh, we have 8 to 1 multiplexer 16 to 1 multiplexer ah maru 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 yes the multiplexer selects one of the 2 to the power n input lines as the output line using different combination of control signals. Now here we are not saying enabling. It enable one of those. Enable or on. Multiplexer selects, not enable, selects. Yeah, select karna no, make uh, input tag output tag again. Right? input tag output. I will take a simple example. If you take your TV, of course I don't watch TV, right? Because it's a garbage thing, right? Thing for the history, because we have the internet. But anyway, there are people who watch TV. So, if you have a te television set in your home, yes. So, now we can see you are getting so many signals, right? Sirasa is coming, Sarnavahini is coming, right? Rupahini, ITN, everything is coming to your uh, television. But at a time, you want to watch only one. That means while these signals are coming, Right. While these signals are coming, you tune it. tune it to watch one of the channel. So you are ignoring other channels. Of course, you are getting those signals, but you ignore these channels, right? Uh, you only watch this channel. If it's same for the radio also, right? So the radio also. So you are getting all these uh, SLB, C, C, Ru, Taru, whatever. But at a time, you are only listening to one channel. That means A K waves because tomorrow they are going to end. And if waves are Ignore when I circuit to it and it waves ignore color may be with a speaker it down speaker it down so same thing right so you have two to the power n inputs and we have output channel now we have some control signals here uh, by for different different combination of control signals only one of these input is going to be output now it is not just enable disable select one of the input as the output right so I will explain it again now in the real scenario now assume that these are four data input lines. Input lines say this is sending now one 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 zero one one zero one. This is one zero one one zero one one zero something right. You can you make a signal again or make a signal again. Make a signal again. Make a signal again. Make a signal again. So what I need is by what is mean by multiplexer is right? What is mean by multiplexer is for different combination of these control signals. Right, different combination of these control signals. One of these is going to be the output. For example, if you are, if I take this is zero and this is zero, right? This is zero and both are zero. Now the output is going to be uh, this one. That is 
वन 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 जीरो वन वन जीरो वन वेन बोथ आर जीरो राइट सो सिमिलरली वेन दिस इज जीरो एंड दिस इज वन राइट सो दैट इज समथिंग लाइक वन देन द आउटपुट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी दिस वन नाउ द आउटपुट इज राइट आउटपुट इज दिस वन वन जीरो वन वन जीरो वन वन जीरो दैट इज बेसिक दिस वन राइट so as long as this is 1 0 if there are few more bits coming means that the digit bits are not mean digit bits are not a in bits are with near a in bits are digit right meka hari ta athi dir kiyana api to mehen mokak hari api ga vishesha haramayak thi ha right and meka mehen pipelines tunak hatarak kena me karamaya set karama metenin eliyata yanne ekko metenin ene eka eka welawaka metena set karanne gat thiyena ekko me eliyata enna ada api to me beema kiyala कनेक्टना एक हरा में आ रही है ना तीसरे लोग सिग्नल के सेट कराने हो ना मैं हरा में ये सिग्नल के सेट कर हरा में आ रही हूँ मैं तो नहीं कहने कोका कोला मैं कहती हूँ वन सीरो के लोग हरा में आ रही हूँ मैं तो नहीं कहने फैंटा वन वन के लोग हरा में आ रही हूँ मैं तो नहीं कहने स्पाइड मारुने देखी मैं तो मारुना इंटरेस्टेड नहीं है मेरा है भाई मैं मल्टीप्लेक्स या क्यूज़ करो आधे कपार मैं सिग्नल देखा इलियर करने बैग इलियर करने बैग कभी लाओ फट करने में क्या दर एक एक मैं अनित सिग्नल्स इग्नोर हो गया मैं इतनी दिग्गज निकल में का सिग्नल लेके आया सो दैट इस इट राइट सो रेडियो के लिए नेटवर्क म तो क्या नहीं ताम इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट है सेमेस्टर फोर वाला दिया ना ताम हमारों सब्जेक्ट का हरी एक इधर प्रताप ने एनलॉग सिग्नल्स को हमें फिल्टर कराने के लिए मल्टीप्लेक्स का पार्ट दिया था बट दिस इसे डिजिटल मल्टीप्लेक्स मेक कराने मेक कराने तानी करते वेव्स वरी फिजिकल देवल पावे� मैं एक चैनल लेकर ट्यून करा, एक चैनल लेकर ट्यून करा, so that is very very interesting phenomena the multiplexer, okay? Now let's see how it works, right? How it works? So let's take the simplest possible multiplexer that is two to one multiplexer. Remember two to the power n to one, right? Two to one, four to one, eight to one, sixteen to one. Right? So this let's take the two to one multiplexer. Uh, you have, we have two input lines i0 and i1 again we start with 0 because uh, it makes lot of sense it make your life easier not to make your life difficult right uh, so i0 and i1 so what what we need is one control signal here right one control signal so i will just show you the pattern when it is 2 to 1 i need only one control signal so two inputs one output obviously because it is a multiplex and one control signal when it comes to 4 to 2 4 to 1 you need two control signals uh, when it comes to 8 to 1 you need three control signals 16 to 1 four control signals that is how it works okay so number of control signals increase when you have more and more uh, inputs and of course you can't have 3 to 1 5 to 1 of course it is 1 to 1 to 1 is nothing right no need that is why. of course that is someone will ask why we are not talking about 1 to 1 multiplex 1 to 1 multiplex ya kadanna ochana mahas wenna ona any input ekak wenna output ekak ona megara yenna hari Right. So, but two to one, one control signal. Four to one, two control signal. Right. Then eight to one, three control signal. If someone need something like five to one, uh, right. So, what we have is two to one, four to one, eight to one. If you need five to one, you have to go for eight to one. Right. Eight to one. Okay. Right. Now let's see how it works. Right. So these are very interesting things. If you like to think, of course. Right. So some people don't like to think. Right. So this is how it works. So let's write the uh, 
if you take this as the circuit actually you do not memorize these things right so in, in the exam also they are not expecting you to uh, memorize these things right so that is actually another reason why they are not asking these questions in the exams much is uh, when it comes to multiplexers it will you have to do little bit pausing you can't just answer that kind of question in one minute because you have to write down this truth table think about it and etc so that, that is a sort of a intimidation for you guys therefore in the exams usually they don't ask this kind of questions at this level okay of course when you have the higher potential and brain power uh, final year they ask these questions now of course you are not in the final year and of course now finally you don't have the computer system uh, rather you have some other things like uh, mobile application development and more programming related things right uh, anyway so this is the uh, circuit that is going to work right now you can see there are two inputs are there I0 and I1 and a control signal is also there and just one output is there you can see it's very simple circuit just two AND gates NOT gate and a OR gate so if you just write the form, uh, expression this one is uh, I0 dot C bar so you can see bar plus now this one is okay plus this one is I1 C I1 C or C I1 so that, that is mentioned behind C by I0 plus C I1 and so that is the uh, circuit right so that that you can do uh, if you can just remember this one okay so I have lazy at the mother again and they got can are you got not call you know I think they have me on a worker no that was a pattern you know I will do to one nigga but for two one nigga you think and other at the you know वह हाथ रो कर ना पहले ना कालिंग एंड देखा तीनों ओ करा है पैटर्न के बेल्ट पर से उपमा देखते हैं पुला एंड देखा तीनों ओ करा दें एंड हाथ रात तीनों ओ कर ना हरी तो कोहम तो मेरे वाले एवान ने तुनाक के ना वाह हरी तो कोटा हम जिसे ना एकाक नोट देखाक नोट्टे लाए ना वाह अनि तेरे एक ने बिन्न पुला पॉसिबिलिटीस May signal like a camera this may now make it so one of these signals so you can see for this and I0 is coming for this one I1 is coming no other I, I, I's are coming for this one only I2 is coming for this one only I3 is coming uh, then because we have two control signals one of the co combination is also coming maybe uh, C1 C0 C1 will be coming to one of those C0 bar C1 will be going to another one C C C zero C one bar will be going to the other one. C zero bar C one bar will be going to the other one. Right? Again, the concept is for I zero, for I I three. The I three means me me one one and three can. I R T I one one combination again. Or then or no more than that. We have last time design color done. Go there. The I. Now that we normally we go. Yeah. So this is zero one two. Three. Then, mama, for me, Android, I am this. I am making it. Can I? Then, me, I got to I three. Can I? Three. Three. Can I? 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 Can Zero one नाम को देखें नॉन में तीन C zero control zero control one C zero ऐसी डी से नॉन है C one not चला है नॉन बाल में बिरादर के मामे कतार का निकाल दे में one गया ना में में आ गया ना रे यार टेन नॉन को हम दे C zero ऐसी डी से नॉन बाल में C zero ऐसी डी से बिरादर के में C zero C zero आ में ना ऐसी डी से बिरादर के ना में तीन डॉट टेक अरे C zero ऐसी डी सावा देंगे यार टाइम इतने one nang C one zero velai no. Ena C one bilni one ne inne. Abila note lai no. Bar note lai abila abila dekhi toh ne note ka. Abila aavi abila si ne. Nakka. Anne hi matao ko dekhi. Sorry. Mudra kalpana karne dekhi. Mari matra pe. Oya abhi ne matra kalpana karne dekhi. I can just help you. Right. So now let's see. Kono the output again ne gelat ne. Dekhe bilvi na ta. So let's take the two to one. Right now for this circuit, if if you draw the truth table, now remember three inputs are there: control signal, 
input 0, input 1. Control signal, input 0, input 1. So this is how you write it, input 0, input 1, control is going to be the Input 0, input 1, control is going to be Now what are the possibilities? Of course 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Right? So it's something like this. Uh, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? 7. 1, 1, 1 can 7. So if you look at this circuit, you are going to get this as output, right? I can color it, one can color it, one can random combination, one can color it, right? 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, When this is control is 0, right? Whatever the your output is, same as your I0. Right? When 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. When control signal is 1, your output is same as your input 1. Uh, now you can see yeah, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So that means if I need the output as I0, I make my control signal 0. If I need to get my output as the I1, I, I am going to set, set the control signal to 1. Which I can't take. Which I can't take. I make a possibility of pen. I can make a 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 pen. I Zero, 1, 0, 0, kela. Maya 0 na hama. Making yani muka 0, 1, 0, 0, tama. Digat, digat, maya na. Making may vila avenne. May vila dekhi maya na hari. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 na. When this is 1. Right. Now what I am getting as the output is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Right. So by changing this. Uh, I can either enable this line as the output or this line as the output. So I keep on getting the output now, either this one or this one. So that is called multiplexing, right? So think about it, right? So that is very important. So when we have multiple inputs coming, right? When we have multiple inputs coming, but I am only interested about one of the output as my output, I can use a max. I can use a max, right? Okay. अरवाकी it's right when you write that maybe in one zero data stream me akira. Then abhi decide kya nikla mono stream me kadi anikla me control signal le paaye nikla me kisi zero the bande kila. Abe me ka attack ki tarve na kote sorry hatarak pe na kote control signal dekha kar maarve me na. Then zero zero combination ek ek zero one ek ek aave ka one zero ek ek aave ka one one ek aave ka. Okay. So just get it right. Of course it won't be checked in your exams most of the time, but if you have this. You are a software engineer, you are an IT professional, right? If you don't understand this, don't go and say that I am IT professional, right? No, you are not IT professional. You don't think about these things, right? So you can go home, go and have some other profession, right? If you are not willing to spend some time for this, right? Of course, there are simple things, right? But you can see the job in the job scene or bill cut in the job scene or are you? I mean, you can see the job in the job scene. Head of his secretary on a job, you know. So, have that kind of a job. Right. So, that is what is known as the multiplexer. Right. Multiplexer. So, the next one is called. So, now you have to think about the 4 to 1 multiplexer, 8 to 1 multiplexer. Right. Likewise. Okay. Now, the final one is uh, under combinational circuit. The final one is called encoder. Right. So, encoder is the most difficult thing to understand right so i can't say it's impossible but you have to think about multiple things at the same time so you can be the positive you are good at they will look at the dollar for now can we know look at the dollar 
मैं कल्पना करेंसप्लेन करें लेजी वाले अन्नी में अरे मगे ओल तो इकम इकट को मन एक्सप्लेन कर So what happens in encoder is you can think of encoder as all the common elements in encoder decoder. Like that, encoder decoder, encoder decoder. Like that, encoder encode. Can you decode? 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 पटांग रिकॉर्ड हो रही पटांग एनकोड हो रही पटांग समान प्रश्न मार्स इनकोड रिकॉर्ड करना रिकॉर्ड पटांगी पटांग कपड़ी बैठक करे पटांग लेजी बैठते अरे मैं एनकोड एक्सप्लेन करना पिछले पटांग लेजी बैठते डिकोड पटांग करते मैं इनकोड दिखाता अंतिम दिखाई दिखाई सब लोग दिवाल इकट्ठे प्रोसेस कर उटपुट Right. So, what is the advantage? Of course, we can enable. Of course, to any input, to the power and output, then only one is enable. Only one is enable. So that also has to be mentioned. Any input, to the power and output, only one of the output is enable. Right. So that is decoder. Right. That is decoder. Usage is now you need less number of input signals to enable a, a large, one of the huge number of outputs. Right. So you need less uh, input lines. Right. Right. So, what about decoder? So, decoder means so this is en sorry this is decoder. Encoder means you have two to the power n number of inputs. Now, large number of inputs, just n number of a few number of outputs. Right. So, two to the power n number of inputs, n number of outputs. Now, we can it's a reverse process. Many inputs, uh, sm small number of outputs. Right. Then, what are we going to do? Make a vikarya, ne? अरकना कमन नहीं है यहाँ पे तो अडवायर प्रमाण है इंटर मिथन वैडी वायर प्रमाण है अंकिना लिवल ला अडवायर प्रमाण के लिए नहीं थी वो अडवायर प्रमाण ही पावना होता ही नहीं ओके यस बट दिस इज यूज्ड फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पस राइट दिस इज यूज्ड फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पस राइट सो अगेन सो हियर ओनली वन आउटपुट इज एनेबल एट अ टाइम राइट ओनली वन आउटपुट इज एनेबल एट अ टाइम फॉर डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशंस एंड अगेन व्हेन व्हेन वी से डिकोड एनकोडर आई हैव टू It mentioned that part also. Now let's see how uh, what is the definition of uh, encode, uh, encode again, right? So we have two to the power n number of inputs. Say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then just three output n number of outputs. And again, the next thing is what you had mentioned is. Only one of the input is one, right? Only one of the input is one, so that has to be said, right? So decoder can I tell you what? Only one of the output is one, right? Here, of course, we have two to the power n number of inputs, but only one of the input is one at a time. When this is one, all others are zero. So that is very important, right? So now let's look at the definition. An encoder converts two to the power n inputs to n outputs. That means larger inputs to lesser outputs. Yes. You may consider it as the reverse process of decoder. Yes. Note that only one input line must be enabled at a time. Right. So only one input line must be enabled at a time. Just like the decoder, only one of the output is enabled at a time. Okay. So that is how you understand. So you have to think slowly. Are you clear now? Think fast. Think slow. Uh, this is where you have to think slowly, right? Calibrator, me, me, I can't understand. Calibrator, can I understand? Full one subject, I mean, computer system, can I? Yeah, I'm going to say, manusya, manusya, how that? Who, our complex device, that my process, that my process, that they're doing, I'm not doing. Process, that they're doing, I'm doing. Calibrator, that my Einstein idea, that my manusya can. I mean, I'm calibrator, that they're doing, I'm doing. Right? I mean, what? If I see, what do you know? Right. Uh, Right. 
so so there are some usages for that but some somewhat complicated usages like we can have priority encoders decimal to binary coded decimal encoders octal to binary encoders hexadecimal to binary you can see most of the time we can use encoders to uh, convert one base to another base right so octal number if you want to convert to binary number you can use octal to binary encoder hexadecimal number if you want to convert to binary of course we have to do that right of course we have to do that uh, in the computer right uh, number conversions so we can use the uh, encoders okay we can use the encoders now let's look at a very simple encoder only so because this is a complicated topic i am not going to go into details right in your paper in your syllabus also they have just mentioned about encoder without going to more lot of details okay right so this is a encoder 4 to 2 encoder this is not a priority encoder this is just a encoder right so i will explain what is a priority encoder also that as the last thing right so this is a 4 to 2 encoder of course the encoders are 2 to the power into n right so that means i have four input lines two input lines similarly 8 to 3 encoder will be eight input lines but only one of the input will be on at a time then three three output lines okay so now this is the simplest one uh, four to two encoder four input lines but only one will be one at a time not not, not more than one will, will be one uh, and of course you have the output right so this is how you draw a two to four to two encoder it looks little bit funny also right so why it is funny you have input line which is not connected to right so ehema ehema oh ehema ogalanta geda geda ta wire ena ada electric board ekak indala gate two ga wada ena gate two en athura denne right so that is why i told it's a funny input line right so that is why i told that encoders are little bit uh, demanding to understand first so you have to think about all those things to understand this right right so you can see there are four input lines i0 i1 i2 i3 that is how we call them and i0 is not connected to the our uh, uh, gates just the circuit is very simple just two o gates are there right just two o gates are there uh, for i0 is not connected to any of the o gates uh, but for the first o gate i1 and i3 is connected that is called our output zero Uh, for the next O gate, we have the I2 and I3 connected, and we call it output one, right? And of course, I0 is not connected to any of the gates, right? So it's very simple circuit, and this is going to be the output looks. Uh, th this is going to be the output of the circuit. Okay. So again, we have you can see I0, I1, I2, I3. In the truth table also, we have I0, though it is not connected. I0, I1, I2, I3, right? So Of course, you know that if you have four inputs, how many possibilities are there? So when you have, so you have to think about all those things now. Right? If you have one input, like a two possibilities, zero and one. If you have two inputs, of course four possibilities, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Three inputs, why is it eight? Zero, zero, zero to one, one, one. Uh, now we here we have four inputs right 1 2 3 4 right that is a b c d that means how many out inputs combinations are there 2 to the power 4 2 4 8 16 possibilities are there but here you can see i have not drawn all 16 possibilities but i have drawn means just four possibilities out of those 16 right so that is the first thing you have to understand about this table this table is not a comprehensive total table this has this doesn't have all the possible input combinations because it's a huge table 16 input combinations are there what we have drawn is just selected four combinations only just selected four combinations only why why again there's a reason why we have eliminated because in encoder only one can be one at a time right so for example 0 0 0 0 is not a combination we are interested because only one only one and one one must be always one also because i am not interested about this because here none of the inputs are uh, one but i am interested about 0 0 0 1 yes right so only one of the input is one all the others are zero so we have taken that similarly i am not interested about 0 0 1 1 because those two ones are there 
right so likewise but i am interested about 0010 yes that is there right again i am not interested about 111111 but i am interested about 0100 why only one is one yes we have it again 10000 i am interested but i am not interested about 10011010 no because multiple ones are there now you can see out of those 16 inputs uh, by definition uh, encoder only one input must be one therefore what we have picked is those combinations right those combinations therefore don't think bad about this thinking that okay me manasa lesiyata kammali kamata me endara nae kiyala me kammali kamata nemei anith ewa apita adala nae encode ekak hadaddi encode ekak hadaddi apita ona wenne me input hatarath ekak vitara api weda karanne eka thama by default encode ekak kiyanne ekak vitara on wenna ona system ekak input ekak ekak vitara one wenna ona right right so if you draw this circuit now if i select uh, fill the output for this circuit this is going to be the case right make what fill karan pulanga for example uh, this is output 0 when uh, i see now I, I will take this one uh, i0 is 1 and this is 0 this is so oh, this is 0 right now what will happen 0 0 is 0 right this one this one is 0 this one is 0 0 0 now you can see so 0, 0, 0, 1, that is this one, both are 0. Yes, both are 0. I will take just one more. Right, I will take just one more. May make, 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 circuit take a matter, can it make a pura na pula? Mari, exam ikwa bahan na ya, bahan na pa, padang karan na pa, padang karan na pa, make a tere rungan. Matak karan na kawan na kawan na? Ay, belu am matak ke? Belu am tere. What, eat first day? Wa dan na, make, make truth table take padang karan na kawan 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 so, if you have to do this, you can do this. 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 Development. Okay. Now, let's take another combination. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1. So, we can do this. 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. Now, let's see what are we getting this output. 0, 1, 0, 0. I, 0. Maybe we can do this. And then 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, Input combinations, right? Input combinations. Now closely look at this. Now closely look at this. This is binary in decimal, right? If you have four binary digits, this is in decimal zero. This is in decimal zero zero one zero again. What? In decimal, sorry, this is in decimal one. So, so, so. Right? This is in decimal one. This is in decimal 2. This is in decimal 3. This is in decimal, sorry, 1, 2. So this is in decimal 4. So this is in decimal 1. This is in decimal 2. This is in decimal 1, 2, 4. This is in decimal 1, 2, 4, 8. Right? 1, 2, 4, 8. So this combination we got these outputs and right? these outputs okay right so so you can see at a time only one of the input is one while all the others are zero this is what we get as the output this is what we get as the output still it's not very interesting right it's not still it is not very interesting we just explain the raw encode raw encode right not a usages right uh, now you can see that but some pattern is emerging this is something like 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 right this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 now we got that one also right now if you take these two 0 0 means what 0 0 1 means 1 1 0 means 2 1 1 means 1 and 2 3 okay now you don't see any connection between these okay, 1 is connected to 0 2 is no now forget about this right so i just write it for the sake of writing now forget about this right 
now forget about this now look at this now look at this now here you can see 0 when i0 is enabled uh, our result is 0 when i1 is enabled right our result is you can see 0 1 is 1 when i2 is enabled right when i2 is enabled my result is 2 when i3 is enabled my result is 3 oh, now we can see the better now we can see the better right for example say i want to send 3 i will send this one line as on other as o oh, that means here when i when i want to send number 3 what i do i send this one i send this zero right so in our deco encoder what happens is when i get something like this encoder will result in uh, two outputs as one one so why three means one one right when this input is enabled that means two uh, what we, what i get is one zero now i know that it is two right so when i get zero one i know that only the this line is enabled now by looking at this by now i will explain uh, now the final uh, explanation is this by looking at this output right if it is 1 1 i know that what i got is i3 if it is 1 0 output i know that uh, currently i have I, I am receiving i2 signal if the output is 0 1 I know that I am now getting I1 signal. Why? 0, 1 is 1. If I, my output is 0, 0, I know that I am now currently receiving I0 signal. Of course, at a time I am going to receive only one signal. That restriction is there. Now you can see it's a, it's, it's a, it is the reverse process of decoding. It is a reverse process of decoding. Now I select which input is there, which input is coming. Right Earlier, uh, by looking at the input, I gave to the correct output, correct output signal, right? So again, it's about signal, enable, disable. Now I know which one is enable, which ones are disable, right? By looking at the output. Earlier, by looking at the input, I enable which one has to be enabled. Now you can see uh, encoding is reverse process of decoding. But because we have weird things like mehema connect karabunat input tina wagi uta that is why we took decoders first but now you can see that of course encoder is the reverse process of the decoder but you have to read it like this right like this like this like this like this right ehema thamai ya eka pattern mukut pen na pattern pen ne ehema oluwa kalpana karana hari hari nikam mehem poddak balla giya ta anne ehema anne man danna mukad magula kara kiyala ehema na samaru part of your studying is understand the patterns right once you get the pattern done unless you get the pattern you are not done you are you are unrest you are unease right once you understand you are at ease you are very confident you are happy right right okay but anyway it depends on the people some people are happy uh, to be uh, Vikara karna, save our time, right? Right, so, so if you appreciate uh, these things, spend some time, okay? Right, so that is uh, that is how encoder works. Of course, there are variations of encoders like priority encoders, right? Uh, Etc. Actually, this is something like a hatripadeka, right limited version right right so i am not going to go into details just i want to give you the basic idea about encoder only of course you can extend into eight to three encoders as well right so again only one of these things are enabled again you have to read it like this right read it like this zero right 
1 of course this is 1 2 of course 0 1 0 is 2 likewise right 7 of course 1 1 1 is 7 right so that is how we read it right okay if if for then our power of q and with the athena logo put the ball with the athena put the ball like another one about google they don't want to get up in there they got up in the head Natami Babu either a dealer at a kin and then her kin and get the pass a curry. The Balnidi explained Karanga. Okay. Right. So we are done with that also. Right. So, so of course, then we can extend that idea to priority encoders, etc. Priority encoders means now if these now remember we, uh, we restricted that only one can be one at a time, but there can be situation. While this is coming, here also we are getting some data. Sometimes you get one here, right? Right. Earlier we restricted that all the other combinations are zero, right? But there can be situation while this is one, while this is one, these are also one. Still we can make this encoder work, right? Still we can make this encoder work. How? When we have multiple ones, we will consider only the highest value bit only, right? When we have one, 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 one here, we know that this is more significant than this one. And it is something like, though we get something like this, this is one. We will make, we will consider this as zero. Then solution is solved, right? Because we have to ignore those things because the highest priority one is the one that we are going to take, right? So that is called priority encoder. Anyway, you can do a Google search, go to the YouTube, so they will explain these things further if you are interested. But if you have this kind, of, this much of a Understanding that is actually good enough, right? That is actually good enough if you understand up to this, right? So priority encoders, etc., are there, and of course there are usages of encoders, right? Encoders and decoders, multiplexers. We can combine those things to uh, create something like ALU, right? ALU, right? So this is a question that was raised in the uh, WhatsApp group, right? So therefore I just took it into the note also because. Actually, that is good. So I I mentioned that 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 question is really good one, right? Because it's a really good one. I just put it onto our handbook also, right? So now you can see that person has contributed to our institute, right? By uh, asking that question, uh, right? So before before this diagram was not there, I just put it there because I thought that yes, that is interesting question, right? Right. So let's try to understand this, right? Uh, so this is from your reference book actually, right? Your reference book has this uh, somewhere at the end of the combinational circuit. Right, so this one, right? So this is from your reference book. Uh, anyway, I will take this one because it's smaller. So I will do this and uh, finish the session. Another five minutes only. Right, so this is a very simple uh, ALU, right, it's a very simple ALU, so this is the functionality of this ALU, uh, this ALU is capable of doing these things, that is addition, O operation, not operation, and operation. So what are the four things that is supported by this ALU, this is a very simplified ALU, just to understand how the ALU is designed, right, real world ALUs, ALUs are designed, right. Uh, and of course, you know that ALU can do only arithmetic operations and logic operations. So out, we have not taken all the arithmetic operations. We have just taken only uh, uh, add operation, right? Addition operation from the arithmetic part. Uh, from logic part, we have taken and O and not only, right? So because those are three basic things. Just to make your uh, uh, circuit simple, okay? Addition has to can be done, and can be done, O can be done, not can be done, okay? So that's it, right? And that addition is a uh, sort of a, uh, and again it supports only two bit words. So that means it's so. For example, I can uh, add these two numbers one zero and one or oh, zero zero. Two bit numbers, right? Uh, oh, I can just end. So if I get one and zero, I can do end and say okay one zero and this one. Sorry, zero, right? Uh, 1 1 I can do O operation and say 1 1 O is 0 and I can do not also if I get 1 because it's unary I will the, this ALU is going to give you the result of 0 
right if you send 0 and ask you to do not it will say 1 right likewise you can see that this this alu is capable of doing not operation for a bit right and operation or operation for two bits right it support two bits also that means two bits means uh, one these two bits are not something like these two bits uh, this one and this one you can do n right this and this one again you can do n this one and this one you can do o this one and this one you can do o, o, uh, o. and of course uh, first one bit you can do not one bit one or zero and add also you can do if you get something like this we can do the addition we can do the addition okay now let's see how it is the uh, design this is sort of an extra thing okay uh, for those who have the curiosity right so you can see this is one set of data a0 and a1 this is the other set of data and right? this is the other set of data for example if you want to make it and right something like this 1 0 and 0 1 and this will result in 0 1 is 0 1 0 is 0 the result is 0 right if you want to do o operation for these two uh, then the output is going to be so this very interesting thing that is why i added this 0 1 when you do o 1 right, so 0 1 when you do o 1 1 0 when you do o 1 so that is output right uh, and if you want to do some not a o operation real addition the result is going to be 0 1 is 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 right? because that is normal addition right not the o operation right so all these things are supported by this alu right alu uh, now you can see the output line so these are the two output lines right so that is what is going to be do when you when you are using the uh, and operation no operations right for example if you get something like 1 0 and 0 1 now i'll explain it again now so where is my one right now uh, 1 0 and 0 1 right so this is a a number this is a number this is b number right now what is going to happen a number is going to be this is zero part zero part is this one one part is this one therefore it is going to be something like zero one so i draw it other way because zero is here one is there this one this is b zero this is b one b zero is one and b one is uh, zero right so the output is so i am going to make it little bit reduce right so the output is now going to be when if you do end operation Right. If you do end operation, 0 and 1 is 0, 1 and 0 is 0, so I am going to get 0, 0. Right. So uh, when I say 1, 0, 0, 1, I am going to get 0, 0. Of course, I have to tell that uh, please do the end operation. Sorry, please do the end operation. Right. Next time, I, I can send the same data and I will ask the, ask the ALU to please do the O operation. In that case, uh, my output is not going to be 0, 0. My output is now going to be 1, 1 right so likewise if i ask the this to send send a control signals to do the normal addition normal addition not the logical thing and then again i'm going to get one one and then i'm going to get it one one so so that is this circuit is going to you can see this is a mini alu this is a mini alu only thing is it can process only two by two bit words two bit words and it can do only and o not an addition Right, nothing else so it's a simple alu simple alu now let's see how these things are done right how these things are done but first forget about the and operation just concentrate on the not and and o operations only right so that is the easier thing to understand then we can move on to the other part okay so now closely look at this it's a very good exercise right uh, now I want to do end operation, right? I want to do end operation. What they have done is, right? what they have done is, they have come up with some codes, control signals. So where is this? Which page you have that? 
as it mentioned in my one. No, not mentioned. So I want to refer to the book again. So where is that? Can some if, if someone remember the page number and if you have the book, just let me know the page number. I can go quickly go to the page number. Not there. Yeah, somewhere here. Right. So what they have decided is something like this. Right? So they have taken so I will take this diagram itself because it's easier for me now. Uh, what they have considered is look at this signal 0 0 is for addition right, so i will write it down signal 0 0 means addition right, 0 0 means addition uh, signal 0 0 for addition 0 1 for not not that that they can decide right decide design and uh, and one zero for o one zero for o and uh, one one for n one one for n on decide color you know control signal up to control your power them zero zero gala up to now be at color the part of the other one but out them zero one can control signals not color the noise signal it but out them one zero well input take my whole color they know on top of one one and all this input take off the end color they know what the other control bus again in Katagara then time to make sense in here right now let's uh, see the circuit again right now let's see uh, say we have something like I want to uh, do end operations of these two numbers Though these two binary uh, expressions say something like this I have 1 0 and 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 so what to make an anchor and I own that go anchor and I think we're in one word 1 0 1 1 anchor I mean on 0 1 is 0 1 1 is 1 1 0 kill in on a 1 0 kill in on Right. Uh, now again, I'm going to write it. Uh, say this is something like zero one one zero. Right. Now we output take again one anchor of the zero one one zero. Have you got any better than you? Zero one can be B zero B one team may better than one better than one. I mean, the picture on the other than I am. This is B zero, this is A zero A one. That means uh, at reality it is one zero. Sorry, any better because A zero is this one, A one is this one. Uh, therefore, it is going to be one zero. This one is going to be. Uh, B0 is 0, B1, so this is A number, this is B number, if I do end operation, 1 and 0, so I will just make this also 1, A number, this also 1, nah? just to make it interesting, right, now the results must be, 1 0 is 1, 1 1 is 1. Right? The main C0, main C1. Right? C0 here at end on 1 here. Sorry, 1 and 0 is 0. Right? C0 10 on 0 here. C1 10 on 1 here. Balm of the output taken on the way. Right? Then you go to the anchor and again what? 1 1 key in a control signal. I will add here again. We may have 1 1 signal like out there, but then the inputs are the end color in on. Abal one one signal like come with it. Mitra din what? Pin on the team got again. The thing decoded up. Decoded up. Aye. What a kinnicate of inners operations Hatharakino. Operation Hatharaki and not a wire Hatharaki one bear. Wire gun adugar unknown. Operation Hatharaki and the commander. Wire the higgy. Harin two to four decoded. Two to four decoded. Nathamata may Hatharaki and not a 
वायर हाथ रख बोलना अनिता द्रो एक बार करने का है एन करना तो वो करने हाँ देन वो तो करना वो आप क्या नॉन मेकर एन करने के लिए ला मेरे दिक्कत है का एन करना क्या ना पे कोडिंग वाले टाइम वो वन वन वो आप वो तो करने में देख रहा वन वन है वन वन नाम याद है ना मगर मैं मटे एन करने के लिए दिन में इनपुट सोल्डिंग है � मैं उक्कम सीरो है ना क्या ना होता है अब बाला ना मैं मैं एंडे है क्या तो मैं आगे होते हैं मैं एंडे का एंडे का एरिया क्या ना सीरो वो तो मैं सीरो का कैंडे का एरिया कम सीरो है ना मैं ना मैं आगे इतना कौन ना मैं ना मैं आगे इतना मैं अंदर बाला की नहीं ना मैं आगे इतना कौन ना ना यार कन सीरो एक ही आने में लाइन्स ले नहीं सीरो मैं बोलता हूँ एंडोर्ड सीरो का काव्य क्या सीरो मैं ओक्कम सीरो आ ओक्कम सीरो मैंने मैं आया वन ना आ मैं आया वन ना अरे आधे बालों मुकाद देने के लिए जहाँ पर करना होगा तो एंड का करना होगा बोलते वन वन ना आए आधे महंग ही ना वहाँ पे हम अरे कंट्रोल सिग्न अरे A zero ये देखा N बेच्चे के में तेरी क्या ना तो में तेरी में तेरी क्या नहीं मुकादे A zero and B zero अरे A zero and B zero में तेरे कोमाती ने one में तेरे कोमाती ने one तो ए न उत्तरे one ना में ए डॉट पांच क्या नहीं मुकादे A मतामा ये तो में तेरी क्या नहीं मुकादे A zero and B zero ना में तेरी क्या नहीं मुकादे A zero and B zero अरे में तेरी क्या A zero and B zero जब बोल में तेरी क्या नहीं मुकाद मेरे ने कोमाती ने वन ने कर मेरे में तेरी क्या नुकसान बाद में तेरी क्या नुकसान उन्हें बी वन ने ना मैं मैं लाइन निकल दी गई ना ए वन में तो मेरे ने ऐसे ए वन डॉट बी वन तो मैं यहाँ पे मेरे को कोमात वन तो ए वन डॉट बी वन डॉट वन क्या ने ए वन डॉट बी वन तो मैं यहाँ पे तो ये � में तो नहीं है ना a one dot b one c one किया है ना अनित तदर है में तो ना तीन o एक आप में तो ना तीन o एक आप एक हाँ ना में तो नहीं है ना रिसार्ट के तमाई में o एक एक ना में रिसार्ट का one ना होते हैं ना अनिवार्य में तो ना one किया लेना में रिसार्ट का zero आ होते हैं ना अनिवार्य इन zero किया लेना अनित तदर है में वाई ए मित्रिंग नहीं करता है मित्रिंग यानी मैं बेला है अरे एंड कर बेला है अरे उधर काल पना करो तेरे वही वाके ही मत एंग मार की बोलते हैं ओ करने के ओ करने के बाद में सिग्नल लेके कंट्रोल सिग्नल लेंगे तो वन सीरो वही वन सीरो एक ना आधा आलोग इन्हें इन्हें मैंने मैं मैंने मैं के नहीं करता है मैं देखो आप ओ करने के लिए क्या आने हैं ओ करने के अंदर तो वन सीरो वो वो करने के अंदर वन सीरो वन सीरो क्या आने मैं आ वन मैं आ सीरो मैं आ वन मैं आ सीरो तो बड़े अन्नों में का तो वन में निकल दे मैं आ एसिडी से ना मैं आ नोटेल अन्नों अरे मैं आ नोटेल अन्नों तो मैं आ नोटेल अन्नों ना अरे मैं ऐसा उन्नत मैं ठीक ना मैं ऐसी चीज से ना मैं नोट ले आना एक ऐसे मिन्न मेल आई निकलता है नेबल अरे मेल आई निकलेगा नहीं तो ओकुम सीरो मेल आया उधर बड़ा इंदर मैं आपको मुकद्दर कराना उन मेल आये ओ कराने के लिए मैं क्यों आया इनवान सीरो दे नंबर बड़ा ने मेल के दी मिन्न मेल सिग्नल लेके आन कार्ड क मैं कहने के लिए दिन में दो गेट ओन ओ गेट टेकिंग नहीं करता है मैं मैं इन्हें ए वन ओ बी वन मित्री के इन्हें मित्री मित्री के इन्हें ए सी रो बी सी रो मित्री के इन्हें ए वन ओ बी सी बी 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 वन हरे ओन ने देख मैं ही मैं बिल्ली वाला आई मित्र ने कहते हैं ना आरा सिग्नल लेको अंत अनित्य ओको में इन सीरो सीरो के तमे देखो ना सीरो एक वन में इन्होंने मिन्न में एक वन एक तरफ इन्होंने ना एंड देखो आंटी उनका कल्पना करना 
एक दिवाटे आने मुकाते मिन्न में का अन्नो है नेक मिन्न में है मिन्न एक अन्य है मिन्न एक यानी मिन्न में एड्रेस पैतर में पैतेंगे ना में पैतेंगे ना अन्नो आगे एड्रेस ठीक नहीं बोल लेना में तीने एक सो एक में तीने एक बारा को एक तो करना ए न उत्तरे तक में हिंगे ना कैरी एक तो कर ला अन्न उत्तरे � फुल लेटे के दिन है, अरे मेथिन फुल लेटे के दिन है, ऐंदेग मेथिन फुल लेटे के दिन है, ओ देखा मैं पहले पावे चिकरा दिन है फुल लेटे का, मैं पहले पावे चिकरा दिन है हाफ लेटे का क्या ही है, हाल ही में नहीं बीच सेट टेकर है, बीसी रो एसी रो एक तो करा दी, आप इसको और ना हाफ लेटे का क्यों स्कैनर अरे उधर कार्पन आकर बोले तो वो सीर सी यंग तेरु गान बोला हाँ अरे वाट पॉडी 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 एलियो का डिजाइन करने का इतने में पॉडी एलियो डिजाइन करने को लगा ब्रेडबोर्ड देखा तीनों ना वहाँ का सर्किट तीनों अरे इतने मगे मगे प्रधान सब्जेक्ट के नहीं में कंप्यूटर सिस्टम मगे मगे मेन सब्जेक्ट वाह यूट्यूब पे भी ये लगा रहा है ना ओन तरह से मेरा वीडियो थी ना मेरा हादरा हादरने दिए पहनना हो अरे हादरने दिए पहनना हो मुझे एम्यूज़ सुनते प्रोसेस साधना किए ने का नथिंग हाँ अरे आप इतना क्या करते हैं दिन इतना एम्यूज़ प्रोसेस साधना अरे ओके सो वी स्टॉप एट दिस पॉइंट सो लेटर्स यस यस अरे तो ना रिकॉर्ड है के ओ ओ एक ऐ दी एक आप वन अनित्य का सीरो इतना बोलो एफ नॉट सीरो ओ अनित्य तरह का माँग आई पे ना ना हाँ ओ एक गाने दिया अभी क्यों मुकाम कमुकिया था अभी वन सीरो का मुकिया रखी हुई है अभी आया वांधी वन सीरो क्या ने एफ नॉट सीरो बिन्नो ना अरे एफ वन वन बिन्नो अरे एफ वन म नोट पे लाया नॉन अन्य कितना वन नहीं है नहीं तो जीरो अरे अभी मैंने कोई कुछ बोला मैं आ नोट पे लाया नॉन मैंने मैं आ नोट पे लाया ना मैं ऐसी रीज़ मैंने मैं आ अरे तो ना मैं आ किया अरे मैं आ नोट पे लागी हाँ तो उन्हें ना इतने वन ना हुआ मैं आ वन ने क्या ऐसी रीज़ किया हाँ तो इ हाँ ये लाइन निकली मेन अब बाल माय अब मारू कल अंदर है मैं कोर्ट सीखी हुआ अब कोर्ट की मारू कल लिया नहीं थे बाल वो एक तीन की ये देखिए ओ एक का ओ ओ ओ वन सीरो फो ए ओ बी हरी वन सीरो तो मैं ओ किया ना मांगे मत करते हरी नहीं 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 सिग्नल सीरो सीरो इस यूज़ फॉर एडिशन सीरो वन फॉर नॉट one not a one zero for a a o b oh one zero for a o b one zero one zero again me maya f not one i might get it enough if not one if not one i can if not and if one if one if one zero up here you better get it but if not can one win no no you can be my god no no not one if one zero if one zero इतना कोई ऐसा में नॉन है सी इफ नॉट वन क्या नहीं मैं आ इफ वन ऐसा में मैं ओ एक मैप पे लाती हूँ मैं बारात लड़ी होती है ना ओ एक मैप पे नहीं मरते सीरो वन सीरो वन ठीक है सीरो वन तो बस मैं मैं इफ नॉट इफ वन मारू मैं मैं ही मरी है मामली भी इफ नॉट मैं ही मरी है इफ वन मैं हूँ ना मुझे आ तो मारो इन्होंने तो डेटर में इन्होंने बाद सीरो में वन सीरो ने में मुकाद सीरो वन अरे सीरो वन अरे वाट वाट डिटेक्ट करने का हरी में तो नहीं आना ना सीरो वन नहीं एक अभी ओए ओए कट गिना तेका या अभी ओए कट गिना तेका ही अभी आया तो बोले सीरो वन ने में ये तो वो किया नहीं मुकाद वन सीरो वन सीरो वन सीरो और नो का तो ओवर करने के लिए नॉन इधर वन सीरो इन्होंने मैं मैं आई सिटी से नॉन मैं नॉट पेन नॉन है यार आई सिटी से नॉन मैं नॉट पेन नॉन है मैंने मैं नॉट पेन हो मैं आमिन मैं है मैं आई सिटी से ना वाह मैं नॉट पेन है ना उन्हें मैं करने के लिए नॉन ओवर करता है मैं करने के लिए ओवर 
मेन ओए कटे अन्य पैटर्न कनेक्ट कर दीना ओए कटे बनना है ना ओए कटे ओए के इन आउटपुट टेकता है मेन ओए के इन आउटपुट टेकता है मेरे का वन ना अंदा वादर ना ने ए डॉट वन इस ए अरे कुछ मेरे का तो वन ना अंदा मित्रिंग इन्हें में कहते हैं ओके रहने को बताएं मित्रिंग इडियट है एक तो हम लोग करकान तो मैं वो कम सीरो वेला है ना तो बट मैं मैं ओके टेक दी मैं वो कम सीरो वेला है दी मित्रिंग इन आउटपुट टेक दाय मित्रिंग है ना ये ए प्लस राइट ए ए प्लस सीरो इसे ए प्लस सीरो इसे अरे अन्य वो करा ए डॉट वन किया ने ए प्लस सीरो किया ने वो कम पावर चिकन टाइम एक ही था ना पुलवां एक अर्थ में अभी गेन करते हुए बीसी दुना की गेन करते तेरे ना तो वैने मामा इसने में कंबिनेशन में वारा दली हुए इसे टोके ना ओके सो राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टॉप एट दिस पॉइंट बिकॉज़ वी आर रनिंग आउट ऑफ टाइम सो � Separate video how to explaining how uh, how the uh, flip flops works because uh, it needs a, a little bit of time. Okay, so we will stop at this point. I hope this help you. Uh, maybe not for your exam, but for your career, your confidence, your character, etc. Okay, thank you.